The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by the hosts of this podcast are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. None of it. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. Now, enjoy the show. I'm never. I need some headphones. There you go. So I could speak to you, gentlemen. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. What's happening? Just that fast. Just that <laughs> fast. What happened? It come alive. The switch. They uh, come alive. I know the switch. I told you I don't do I don't I just know the I switch. I don't, I don't I exert switch. energy for free anymore. We mm-hmm. we off of that. We off of so that. I will sit here on this couch. That ain't how sleep, we scale. And then bomb. We here. <laughs> that ain't how we scaling. My, my energy costs. Mm. How much? It ain't cheap. Mm. Must be nice. Look at you being Roddy comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy comfortable. Roddy trying Roddy to get comfortable. Roddy trying to get rich. Yeah. <laughs> How you guys feeling? What's up, man? What's happening? What's Chilling, up? Man. It's cool. Feeling good. Thing. Feeling great. How's everybody Thanksgiving? Good. I'm still tired. We ain't starting Shit. with Thanksgiving. We starting with Park's jacket. <laughs> well, I was going to get. It. He said he's still tired. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. What time did you get in? Uh, what you mean? Uh, I, I hosted. Okay. I hosted. You know, some nice glasses too, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. you look like a. Little... What happened today? Why you? Why yeah. you serving up? Why you? I got a little G- thing I got to go to afterwards. So you giving them GQ fashion? Yeah, and I say, you know what? Let me just let me just wear the jacket today on the show. Let you know me remind I mean? them. Let me remind them who I be. You know what I mean? This is what that is. Got yeah, your, that's all. Your lapel. Are you in, are you wearing Tim's with it later? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still gotta be me. So I still gotta be me. <laughs> I gotta be me. Yo, the brown Tims with still the gotta black be me. Nah, jacket. I like it. Yeah. I like it, man. I do. Well, you look good. I was yeah, gonna wear my good. black Tims today, but they're a little scuffy. I gotta get a new pair. Mm. Mm. You know, man, bro. Yeah. And those frames do look a little. Yeah, yeah. No. Look no, no, no. Yeah. No, he did it. No, no he got a pair of frames crazy. on. He got a pair of frames on. Okay. I'm glad y'all like my frames. Pull that spanky out sometimes. I got you. It's just because my contacts are bothering me. Uh, <laughs> Sky got to put the yeah. Wear the glass. Them shit's dope. Okay, you rock them a little. He know bit what he did. Yeah, 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 he yeah. know what he did. I see why you got married first. <laughs> yeah. no, you're looking good over there. <laughs> you look good too, man. It's a nice jacket. Somebody, you got somebody, on somebody lock that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. That's a nice jacket. You're gonna be a little hot in the pod, though. That's wool. No, nah, I'll be just fine. It's a little nippy for me. A little, okay, a little nippy for me. I had to cut the heat on when I got here. Mm. So you got here. Huh? Uh, tennis? Something like that. Oh, yeah, it probably was cold as hell in here then. Yeah. Seven, seven windows in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> All the walls is windows. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> Freezing in here. It was cold. How was your Thanksgiving, man? Um, Thanksgiving is for the young people, yo. Hmm? What? I'm convinced. Your, nah, girl, your, girl, your girl can't cook? <laughs> my, my girl's mother is the best cook I know, damn near. I'm just saying, people, yes. you know. No, like, I'm just saying, like, the family thing as you start to get older, mm-hmm. it's a little different to me. Like, I look at it like if you're not married, you know what I mean? Like, it's a little funny. But huh. you married. So. Yeah, I guess. I ain't married, nigga. No, I want you to continue. To yeah, I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, for me, I can't uh-huh. speak for nobody else. Like, and, and my family is kind of dispersed. Uh-huh. So Thanksgiving kind of almost be like any other day to me. Huh. You know what I mean? Like, Did you host or you went somewhere? I went to my girl mother crib, but oh, okay. You know, I'll go to work in the morning on Thanksgiving. So I don't care about that shit. <laughs> mm, got some sheetrock to hang. Food was good? Banging. Turkey? Fried and regular. Ooh. Anything have raisins in it? This nigga's ignorant. <laughs> I'm just, no, nigga. Okay. Just wanted to know. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm, I like ISIS route. He's trying to joke while the trauma's jumping out of you. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, what I'm, you I'm trying to, I'm just going to stay silent when my brother's is aching. I'm, 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 Oh, my mom was great, actually. I know I said last year, I was like, damn, it's starting to feel like, all right, with, with, with Unk passing, that it was mm-hmm. a little different. But nah, the family got it back together. It was real good. Everybody came through. We we had a great time. We, Mama Ice through them? Uh, my grandmother. Oh, she, okay. She's the main cook. So she did her thing as usual, the whole spread, whatever you could name was there. Fucked it up. Watch football. 
What time y'all ate, man? Oh, well, well, it's two times in the in the black household. It's okay. the time they tell you food is going to be ready, uh-huh. and then the time you actually eat. Yeah, they have same same. Oh, okay, because uh, every year she said we eating at three. My in laws are Dominican, so we oh. we started about nine o'clock. A.M. A.M. P.M. Eating. That's right. God damn. Oh yeah, they had a and that, on, and that was a rush, that was a rush job, they'd and that was a like, mad like, at that was me being yeah. like, yo, let's start a little early. <laughs> no, nah, I'd have been in there eating. They'd have been mad at me. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Turkey I starved myself gone. for this. You crazy? Great nine o'clock. Nah, we started at um. She every year she say we gonna start at three, mm-hmm. but we all know better. Five o'clock. Okay. Yourself? Yeah, Joe. What you did, man? I had an amazing, amazing day alone and to myself. What you just spent the I whole day by I yourself? I didn't see anybody really. Yeah, you know? I didn't leave the house. You didn't go to Pop's house or nothing? Nope. Got plates yeah. sent to you. Yeah. What brought to you, brother? Well, I had a chef come Wednesday night and jazz something up for me. Okay. So I had food. It was just for you or like family came to your house? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Not for me. You really just went dole on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Damn. I'm saying, but ain't nobody dropped no plates yeah, off? Then Thanksgiving. Are you yeah, right? I don't get this colonizer yeah. shit out of here. You need a hug, man? <laughs> Word. You good? He talking about my trauma. <laughs> what? That ain't me. That's what that's what America did. That, that ain't me. Uh-huh. But what? And they going to trick us into thinking it's a holiday? No, nah. nah, they did trick us, but now, but we know what it the is. Thing so about it's still it, a, I know it's you know a, it's, a, it's a family yeah. gathering. Yeah. Yeah. Express your love to your loved ones because you know they can kill us off whenever they feel like it. <laughs> I understand that. I mean, yeah, so for yeah, me, I, guess that's I was what, I was grateful. I guess that's what they put on the Thanksgiving card now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you lucky you still breathe it, nigga. <laughs> Go kiss your mama, nigga. Tra- trauma, trauma bonding. Who <laughs> you? Who I'm trauma bonding with? You said about you sat in the house because I didn't want to be colonizer. I didn't say none of that. No, 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 no. Acknowledge the periods in my speech. These are not connected at all. I was home grateful that I had family spread out. Like I was happy. Like all my family is good, healthy, happy. Spoke to spoke to everybody on the phone. I tried to told Trey that he would have to. I forgot I had a little beef with his mom this year. I was reminded yesterday. Because you ain't get the plate from her, dude. So I called him thinking he would be a real ass dude. I said, yo, dog, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you got to get it done this year for that. You got to get that plate. <laughs> and he you said, gotta get that plate. And he said, he said, oh, don't worry about that. I'll just say it's for my girl. I said, nah, because then it's not going to be with that yeah. extra love. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if you can't do it, I'll call your mom and get it done. And he said, you're not getting that plate if you call her, or if you don't call her. If she knows for you, that plate ain't coming. What you I did? I said, why you say that? Because all year since y'all had that little talk, <laughs> she been saying he ain't getting no plate, <laughs> he, and he ain't getting no plate. <laughs> Thank God I'm rich enough to avoid that being a hassle. Still but not, it's still, still hit, not the same. It's still hitting me yeah, exactly. a little. It's still going. It still hit a little. Last bit, year you came in here and bragged about how home. Nah, but I said, yeah. I said, I said, I said some shit. I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say. Ah that. Oh, man, oh, that sounds like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> she said some shit she shouldn't have said either. Though. But so, so mine, did you call her to when apologize? I do it, it hit hard. You called her to apologize? No. <laughs> but I didn't call and continue to beef, so I thought it was cool. <laughs> hey, lack of action is an action. Typical joke <laughs> shit. Man. Yo, I, I said some shit I shouldn't have said. You, know, you called her to apologize? No. Nah. Nah. Nah, I shouldn't have said that. That was fucked up. <laughs> Can you call her and apologize, man? Oh, yeah, no, I can't apologize. I can't right. call her a name or nothing. It was in regards to fucking raising our kid. Mm. <laughs> Just different ideologies. Oh, man. <laughs> and, I enforced mine, <laughs> and it sounded bad. Move, moving right along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> moving yeah. right along. But anyway, so the chef came. Well, she, she ain't listening. She hate me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to apologize. Nigga made me feel bad now. I made you feel bad. <laughs> you should feel bad. <laughs> no, I feel bad. For no, because I know now. you, and I, the, I don't know what you said, but if you're sitting here publicly saying, yo, I wild out. That means he wild out. It was some out. wild yeah. out. <laughs> Off mic, I'll tell y'all. Well, actually, stop this so I can say what I said, and then we come back in. <laughs> that was bad. Aight. Not good. It ain't bad to me. <laughs> me? <laughs> Yo, why is that bad to me? That's bad, man. I thought it was going to be worse. No, no, they, no come on. I'm grown up. I'm mature a little bit, but that's, that's what maturity is, recognizing when you was 
out of line a little, a little bit. Little out of pocket. <laughs> like when you could have handled something a little bit. Mm, that's all. That's it. But yeah, Chef came over Wednesday night, made a whole bunch of shit. I went out thinking that, all right, it's turn up time, Thanksgiving Eve. I, 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 where we at? It was kind of quiet in the streets. It was quiet. Yeah, it was quiet it was just me. It was just me and my people. <laughs> oh, no, that's not true. And um, all the hybrid niggas. <laughs> so how long you stayed? That's all that was outside. Oh, no, I stayed. CEO was a real cool dude. <laughs> bought, bought, bought me a water. <laughs> <laughs> Say, yo, man, you always talk great about it. I said, I know. <laughs> and we'll continue to do so. Mm-hmm. 90 of them niggas, too. Mm-hmm. Just us. Just us outside. Okay. Of course, them niggas came and sat right next to me. Of course. Whole spot, spot, whole spot. Them niggas left the VIP. <laughs> brought 100 niggas next to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It was niggas, a great time. Niggas throwing spanky. Thanksgiving Eve. What do you think they would be able to do, Ish? Be thankful. Uh, there you go. That's You're it. Right. What do you think they would be able to do? That's exactly what they would be able to do. Okay. And I left. Took my little $900 out of there. <laughs> 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 Actually, I still got my shit. You got to know when the value of your money means mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. I'll catch him on Monday. That nine hundred gonna float a little gonna bit. Look, it's gonna, gonna, look, gonna look, look different. It's gonna, gonna look, look different, different when these brothers leave. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I did that. So Thursday when, when it came, when the holiday came, I didn't. I was tired. Just watch football. All day. I ate at noon. Skipped breakfast. I ate the food at noon since it was done already. Went right to sleep. Bong. Nap time. I'll tell you what, old nigga vibes. Woke up at four to do my show. Oh, damn, you did do your show. I did my show. Yeah. Five to seven. I tuned oh, in yeah. for a little bit while I was cooking. Uh, then I ate again. Uh, Back to bed. Jay Holiday, baby. Uh, <laughs> Jay Holiday. You watch the game? Well, no. And then I. <laughs> no, cool, that's you, he was you had Lady Sing the Blues? I watched the game. But wait, and then I had two. <laughs> Jay uh, Holiday. I had fucking two fights scheduled back to back when I woke up, but I won them both. Don't be alarmed. I am okay now. You should see the toilet. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. The toilet was winning in them early rounds. My stomach was bubble guts in, moving around. We're not even built to eat like they're trying to make us eat. They're just trying to kill us with this fucking holiday. We can't even do it no more. And I know you had some ham. Uh, no, I had chicken. Uh-huh. Mm. You had no ham? I sent for some ham. He skipped in. I sent for some ham. Okay, mm-hmm. give me some pork in there. We there you know. go. We know. <laughs> I made a mistake and found out how pork rinds are made. Oh yeah, you watched that little you video. Saw that thing? <laughs> yeah, I saw that little video. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that dog. That shit. <laughs> if you got a minute, go check out how pork rinds are made. Nah, I don't know if you want to. I'm gonna check that out. Or don't. Oh, okay. Listen, it ain't, it didn't change the yeah, end result, don't. which is <laughs> you, still you throw some yo, hot it, sauce on them shit, yo, dog, and it tastes that great. That shit don't it's matter to me. Nu- that's the, it. Just amazes bro, me. Bro, I saw how McDonald's chicken nuggets was made and was like, okay, let me get a twenty piece. The little pink joint. Yeah, I don't <laughs> talk about that. Oh, I'm not watching that. Yeah. And them little niggas that was coming around the hood trying to tell me what was happening in the Chinese store. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yo, you notice you'll never see no cats around pork. here, right? Well, guess what? It's I, I like cat. Pig. Pork rinds are. Pig scab. Yeah. Huh? It's a pig scab. Mm-hmm. Like right. a scab? It's a scab. scab. They, yeah. pour they some, burn it. They bur- like pour, pour some, some shit on yeah. the scab. And it scabs they Torch up. it. It scabs and they scrape the scab. Yes. Like a scab. Like when you cut it. Yes. Yeah. Scab. Yes. I got to make sure we think it's yes. the same scab. That's That's, right. that's the pork rind. That's the scab. That ain't crunchy. That's why it tastes like that. That's why it's nice and hollow. And yeah, like yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you think about it, the scab's kind of crunchy. Yeah. Oh, well, scabs are delicious then, I guess. <laughs> Put enough salt and shit on there. Yeah, yeah. I, that's all I heard. Fam, I'm, it's certain shit I'm just not going to stop eating. Yeah, you can't ruin it for me. I got to stop cool. following them pages on fucking Insta- yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I just don't want to know. They show, they show you, they, they cooking everything from the sea. Oh, the yeah. animal be so beautiful, and here y'all, here y'all come. <laughs> uh-huh. Capture a dolphin, chop it up, take it to your friends, if it slice live, it correctly. If it live in the ocean, I'll eat it. Then they start getting that adobo out. Okay. Like, uh, <laughs> so rat, uh, I low sazon. See. So, so. But that's that's messed up though. Like, what if somebody did that to us? Like, humans do things to, to like, what? That's yeah. just messed up. I agree. Nah. So somebody told me that. Uh, and this is our Thanksgiving talk. But anyway. <laughs> this fucked me up. Somebody told me about dogs having Stockholm syndrome. Because when you think about it, you snatch a dog from his mother as a puppy. You take it. It live with you, and then the dog turns to love you and think you're the parent when really. You ain't that dog. You kidnapped that dog. <laughs> it's a little deep right there, Ice. I'm just saying. Well, that's why I try to buy the mom, too. <laughs> you 
by the grandparents? Fuck <laughs> 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 you talking about? Sometimes I try to buy, yeah, if the mom is there, I'll buy the mom. If the sibling is there, I'll consider it. Come on, bring your little brother, man. Come on. That's nothing what you think. I was like, humans are nasty and disgusting. Kind of fucked up. Cancerous, true. and it's just horrible. Yeah. yeah. It's just horrible. That's why the planet trying to get rid of us. But anyway, so yeah, my my that was my day. Now, tonight. No, no, no. You left something out today. I left something out today. Four thirty game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you took a nap. Then you did your show. Then you had a couple beefs. J- Billy. At some point, I have to begin this podcast. Uh-huh. No, you say you. What's my man named Holiday? Put you to bed. Jay Holiday. Jay yeah, Holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were singing Billy Holiday. Lady sing the blues. Cause y'all got your ass yeah, smacked. Really, really young, <laughs> really young demographic. Y'all got your, y'all got your ass smacked. Reference. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's all right, fam. Can I start the pod sure, sure. and then knock, you could come knock in? Knock yourself out with whatever your racist owner did. <laughs> you playing LL? I mean, if football is the first Jerry Jones topic you have, that's on brand for I, you. I know. But I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Give me a second. All right, Mike check one two one two episode five eighty one. I'm Joe. That's Ish. That's Ice. That's Parks. Corey's here. Yep. Ian and Keeb is somewhere back there running around. Oh, Poe is here, and Erickson is here. Gang. Yes, everyone is here. Ruleless mac and cheese. I think y'all should be arrested. It's unruly. Ah, I see what you did there. It's really, it's really disgusting, and y'all should be, yeah, it's, it's, y'all should be arrested. Yeah, y'all should. Just go on recipes.com and learn how to do it right, if nothing else. And then y'all taking pictures of it. Y'all just taking all that cheese and putting it on top, and thinking the oven is about to make that shit good. It's just, it's a mess. Yeah. So travesty was going on out there. I'll take your word yeah, for it. Yeah, I'm just I'll listening to the two niggas that have made this yeah, before, bro. bro. I'm, I'm, I'm y'all got it. Word for it. Some of y'all, you know what, man? As the generations go on. We're losing you, recipes. You see why Nana, N- Nana wasn't mad that she was dying? Fam. Like, you start to understand as you get older how Nana was so strong in the, saying peace to all you little niggas. The Nanas are 37. Just I'm talking about my nanas. I, no, I don't have a nana today. The new nanas, <laughs> the new nanas. I'm not talking the new nanas. <laughs> Thirty nine. Yeah, and it's it, and it's showing. Yeah, some of y'all kids wasn't even. Hey, it's your turn now. <laughs> it's your turn. Y'all got your eighty year old aunt in there still chefing it up on on her bad hip replacement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know how yeah. some of y'all got the bad breast implant because y'all won't go get it done right in the next 10 years? Y'all skip what the doctor said? You know Nana hip replacement getting old, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Nana 70. It got passed down. Only new shit getting passed down is a lot twerking. A lot of y'all was online admitting to incest with your cousins. Ew. That was a mm-hmm. thing. That missed my algorithm. Let me be yeah, clear. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad I missed Happily. that. Happily. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, no. Hey, on the East Coast, when we talk about that long walk that you take with your cousins before the meal, we they talking, talking about, about going high. to smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're talking, talking, talking about smoking weed. Yeah. yeah. What y'all do across the Mason-Dixon, I can't speak for it. I don't know. They turned turn the long walk with your cousin into something else. He was fucking yeah. that I, I don't. I That's Listen, smart. buddy. West Virginia about, is going on. Listen, buddy. I don't know. And I like that. What else did I learn yesterday? I'm really mad that Twitter is dead. So that was part of the holiday was dead. I don't know. Twitter I don't know what you're talking pretty, about. Twitter was pretty lively yesterday. I tricked the shit out of everybody. I was like, yo, we usually post a struggle place. Let me see the fireplace. And more plates came through and it was all struggle. So no, I, was, I saw a couple I good a, ones. I saw a no, couple no, good I, ones. Yeah. Most, but yeah. I had a blast. I was about to turn I you off because I'm sitting there starving, no looking at all these plays. <laughs> <laughs> I had a blast on the time. Nine o'clock is Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, man. I'm not gonna hold you. I'd eat. I'd, yeah, that turkey would have been fucked up. <laughs> They'd have been mad at me. <laughs> no, we need nine o'clock. o'clock. Crazy. Yeah. You want to talk about y'all, Jerry Jones? <laughs> 
Please, because I see it's itching a hole in your soul. Not. I see it's burnt. Dog, you keep no, interrupting you just, every different juncture of this pod to get I it out of your nothing. soul. Come on, please. Time. No, this please. I just came in here. You, you such the a The Dallas Cowboys blew Beat out. Ass. Blew out the New York Giants. Not that it had been close. It wasn't. No, it didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a close yeah. game. He's yeah. excited about it. Not, he don't never want to come. I had to force a segment on him last week. But let me intro this. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys uh, beat the New York Giants in a Thanksgiving beatdown while they were down three starting offensive linemen and two starting safeties. <sighs> It was a round, pretty, yo, round, was a close round of applause. Wow. Don't look at Go, me. We I'm going, still a fan. They're going all the way now. Joe ain't shit. The yo. fuck are we, what are we talking? You got to be joking, Ish. <laughs> like, be a man when it comes to I, your team. You be a man. Be, I did. I'm you, silent. No, you didn't. You came in here with the, I'm yo, silent. we was down 17 people. The nieces was suiting up. The nephews was playing. <laughs> Nigga, stand on your same shit you stood on last week when you came in here talking cash shit. Ish, I didn't do that last week. You have me mistaken. I didn't bet you. Because I, I said nobody, we had injuries. Nobody said and you, you bet said, me. You tough. came and had last what week injuries? talking shit, And though. now I'm telling you the injuries. Three starting offensive linemen and two starting... Say they was dragging niggas from the fucking farm. I know. Get over here and play. I know. But man, <laughs> what, a, what a performance. Oh, this man. This guy's different, bro. Now... <laughs> Scott, Since it was man. such an important win, go ahead and break it down for me. I don't want, I'm good. You just took all of the air out the sails with your goofy ass justification for your. I cannot smoked. believe that you were so excited about this win. I That's all. I, I, like, come on, converse with me. I cannot believe that you were this excited about this win. All right, can I? I, I, please, I think. Please help me. He know how you would have acted had y'all won that game. That's one. So. I know how you acted shit. two weeks ago. Yeah. Y'all don't talk to me. I don't talk yeah. to niggas that got three losses yeah. or less. Da, da, da. All third like, place. Every time y'all win, you come in here with your big dick dog. shit. Y'all got but y'all I ass smoke. What, you come in here and made excuses. But I know what time it is. We had I had six nice early weeks of shit talking that I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. At some point, the team has to plateau out and be their true self. The team self. is the team, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like what are we, no Giants fan is so amazed that they lost that game yesterday. And Ish knows that. And stop, stop, stop. I'm not talking about our pod fucking before. Ish knows that. I guessed that. I guessed our standings before the season started. That is the same place I have it laying out. So just because he gets sensitive because we had I'm great far- weeks. I yeah. got sensitive. Shine. I don't see that. Don't see that shine, shine through. I just see, yo, you popped all this shit before. Now you got to sit there and take it. Like Don't, then, don't, then don't try to it. step on it. Now then, you got to sit there and okay, take it. Okay, then dish it. Give it's it too late. Give it to me. Come it's, on. It's too late. Y'all had 17 injuries. It's all right. Y'all pulled niggas from the G League to come play. Y'all suit up. I know. Yo, That's yeah. hate. Y'all suit, yeah, we're, y'all suited up the G League niggas. I know. Pardon me. Oh, man. No, it's not hate. Saquon, I, just, I can't believe he's just Saquon Pinky that. Toe was hurt. It's all right, bro. Fuck out of here. Got their ass mopped up. Mop City. But it's cool. It's all right. Y'all running back in what a week or so, right? No, we beat them twice already. Oh, that was shit. twice. Oh shit. Oh, I see. Yeah, Actually, we beat them the last nine or ten times in a row. Mm. There, there you go. Come on, let me give you an air horn. It's all right. It's cool. Air horn. <laughs> it's cool. I don't want no sauce, bro. Hold up. <laughs> it's all right. I don't want your horn. Put your fucking horn away, yo. Oh boy, this guy. So <laughs> <laughs> <a> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Ball, yeah. mm. on, on, on to more cowboy news. Oh yeah, now now I'd love to hear <laughs> I you. Bet you. I'd love to hear you on this one with your man. And I didn't even want to start out so racy, but fuck, I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> All right, fill the people in what happened. All right, the cowboy fan. <laughs> All right, that's a y'all. picture from I don't know 1950 something, mm. 60 something. Presented itself mm. where they I'm trying to make it more modern. <laughs> 50, 60. <laughs> Corey added 10 years. Um, has presented itself that shows Jerry Jones um, present when, you know, they were integrating schools in the mm. 60s. Um, some black kids were walking into a school, I think, in Arkansas. In mm. Arkansas. And um, a mob of white people were there, like, not greeting them in the most favorable way. No, uh, that's and it, that's a kind way to put it. The, the picture shows Jerry Jones um, present. Mm-hmm. So the internet went crazy. I got 7,000 tweets and texts and DMs. Mm-hmm. Yo, this your man. This, this who you choose to stand by. This your squad and all of that. And so here we are. Your take. 
Uh, my take is I'd love to hear from you guys on this, oh, man. On this matter. This, I bet this on Jerry my, Jones was racist when he, yeah, when he said about the uh, the Neil and shit. He, he said some crazy shit, right? Y'all don't think Jerry Jones racist? Not at all. Like I didn't think that was. I don't think so. I didn't think that was news. <laughs> I don't think. Like, was, right. I don't know him. I don't that's, think how I, that's how I pictured those childhood pictures to look. <laughs> let me ask you. Hey, let me ask you. Can a person change? Just yes or no? Yes. All right, because we've also heard multiple. All right, never mind. You want? Go ahead. We out I'm going to let you get your shit out of here. Get, get your I'm, shit out of Yes, a person can change. So a person can change. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think, we, we've heard from black people directly, mm-hmm. told directly to us, mm-hmm said how valuable and important Jerry Jones is to their life and what they've set up for them, their children, their lineage, the whole shit, like getting their business and shit right. They learned manhood they from learned, him. Yes. They learned business from him. He pulled them under their wing and helped them and their family. Mm-hmm. And this comes from countless people. Yeah, this ain't one or two. This has been a thing for years. So am I, do I have to hold you, do I have to say you're the same person you were when you were a, a, a what, teenager? This is a school. So... Elementary school too Yeah so you were a kid there The person you were then And Jerry Jones How old now? 80 80 something 70 80 something 80 something something. Okay Am I supposed to think You're the exact same person You were as a child? Are you Are are any of us the same person We were as a child? And we only in our 30s And 40s I am Okay, well, that's you. <laughs> salute. <laughs> salute for the lack of growth. No, salute for the lack of growth. I ain't agreeing. Uh, you don't have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a thousand percent no, agreement it. wise. Salute for the lack of growth. We know. That's your thing. But um, That's your thing. Yo, hey, you that's, be sa- that couch is spicy. I'm saying you said you are the same person you were when you were a child. Agree. That's, I agree. Get your shit that's off. That's your lack of growth, my nigga. That's on you. You got to live with that. But I think people grow and change, and I just don't like when the internet go looking for shit from your childhood to try to make that be who you are today. That's all. Bigger than that, it's a couple other things. One, um, if you're talking about the 50s and 60s in fucking Arkansas, that's that's what was going on. Like, that's what so was going dope. on. So if you're talking about the 50s and 60s in Arkansas, one, Jerry Jones in the back of the picture. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't there with the rah, rah, with a baseball bat. Not excusing him. We don't even know his involvement in that particular thing. That's one. That's true. That is true. That's true. And then number two, um, Sky man. <laughs> then number two, um, if you grew up in fucking Mississippi, if you grew up in Arkansas, if you grew up in certain states during mm-hmm. the 50s and 60s, that was instilled in you by your parents, your community, and your environment. Mm-hmm. So you ain't, as a child, you're not making your own decisions. You're being fed what to think. And as you get older, you go through college, you go through life, you go through your own experiences, you determine right and wrong for yourself. Your parents and your church and your environment determine right and wrong for you as a child. But as you get older, you stand on your own too and you make your own pivots and tangents to believe what you to believe to be true. So you can't hold somebody that's 80 years old today by the same standard that he might have felt at 12, 10, 9, 15, whatever the case may be, you, you can't hold somebody to that. That's my opinion. No, you swayed me. I understand what you're saying now. Yo, could you give a take or no? <laughs> could you give a take or no? We didn't hear from Park. Oh, okay. okay. Park said he's racist. I don't know if he's racist. You just said, I, yo, you've been... I said, I'm not surprised if he's racist. Oh. Parks during the, during Park. the kneeling shit, he didn't, he didn't say the kindest things. He said Parks none of my I players are going to kneel for don't the flag know. or something like that. Like, that shit is sus. And sense. that wasn't long ago. That was a few years ago. Mm-hmm. That's our side. Can I talk now? Even hold on. Let me just respond to the get yeah. shit off, please. I don't think that was more racism. I think that was more business, like, business control. This shit is like that. this is you. You. I. I can't have any distractions to the business. Again, I'm not. Oh, great! Y'all are going to my point. <laughs> okay. So neither one of y'all can point me to this list of actions to indicate how Jerry Jones might feel about black people when it's not a business. A business decision or when there's nothing for him to gain from them. That's not true. I'm asking. That no, is, I can't. I, I, please. We had Pac-Man Jones on the show. Mm-hmm. 
right? Well, not on these couches, but on other couches. Mm -hmm. And Pac-Man Jones said he didn't know anything about life. Well, not life, but business life and being a man. Jerry Jones taught him how to be a man and how to get his priorities in order, his business in order to take care of his family. Jerry Jones's family is taken care of for generations. Pac-Man, he don't have nothing to gain by helping Pac-Man Jones get his family life in order at all. Just keep playing football. He, he could have okay. just been Okay, a, so we disagree then. We could. Pac-Man Jones. Pac-Man Jones is a football player. True. Mm -hmm. There's no world that you're telling me Jerry Jones doesn't have something to gain from a football player. No, what There's I'm saying. There's no world where you're telling me that. What I'm saying is he, he don't, have anything, to gain he don't have anything to gain the from the physical that, attributes of this football yeah. player. Pac-Man Jones' family being set up properly don't benefit Jerry, Jerry Jones. It could have some underlying potential benefits where if you happier at home, you might perform better on the field. Mm -hmm. my, but that's not even a guarantee. My question was only, do we have a list of action items that we could point to that show us how Jerry Jones feels about black people when there's zero to gain? And your, I don't think that your Pac-Man Jones point refutes that or speaks to that. I do. It's fine though. Is the, are, is there anything else on the list? No, I was, I'm to? just going by something or do we definitive all, or that do you, a man or do we stated. Only I can't have football player. Examples? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't speak of anything definitively yeah, right saying. now. But I could go by okay. this man's word that mm. said basically, yo, I was lost until I got to Dallas, and Jerry Jones showed me all of these things and how to be a man. He said that here. Jerry Jones didn't have to do that. That's what your agent is for. That's what your, your business people is for. You know what I'm saying? You got your own accountants. You got your own financial advisors. You got your own agents and managers or what have you. Mm -hmm. I don't have to put you under my wing and help you get your life right. I would want my owner to do that. I would as, I, I would as well. I said the owner does not have to do that. He does not. And I would want my owner to do that. So I want to applaud that. <clears throat> it still don't tell me how Jerry Jones may feel about black people when there's nothing to gain. True. That, and that's where just where my well, I don't know. Comes I mean, from. I, I take it off of that. We don't know that's how all. we don't know how people feel about people when ain't nothing to gain. Indeed, honestly, we don't we don't know how people feel about damn near anybody if they not benefiting out of that. But what you can I do, don't know if that's true. That you, you don't you don't you don't, don't know, know you don't true. know for certain. You don't, you don't know how somebody's inner. Um, you don't know what's in somebody's heart. Yeah, you don't. You, 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 can, you can get some signs though. Yeah. You can. So so t we're gonna stay on Jerry. Uh huh. Countless football players, not mm -hmm. just Pac-Man Jones, countless football players, old and new, mm -hmm. revere Jerry Jones publicly. True, I've seen it. Yeah. So people that have nothing to gain at this juncture in their life or their career, have mm -hmm. public, they publicly revere him. So I don't know. Your boss, dog, how your workers speak about you in confidence and in private mm -hmm. is a reflection on you. True. So if that's your boss and they speak about him with high regard, that's a reflection on him. Especially he can still be don't. a racist dirtbag for all we know, mm -hmm. but these people love him and admire him and revere him. So I think that speaks volumes. Oh, great. So you're on me and Parkside of <laughs> we don't know. Because <laughs> that's all we're saying. Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't initially know said, yo, you shocked Jerry Jones is a racist? Park said he Nobody was- Nobody was shocked at that fucking picture. And then y'all, and, and y'all explanation came out and said, if you was in that, if you was in Arkansas at this time, if you so y'all wasn't shocked by it. He's no, 60 no, no. years old. So, no, I said the outrage of the everybody's outrage. Yeah. I think is not warranted because it leaves so much to question. Well, the internet is there to be outraged. I can't yeah. be here for the jokes of it. Yeah, I'm, I got to be careful, and I got to choose very carefully where I choose to lay my outrage. It's been so. It's been so much death, and I'm not getting more of it. We're gonna move on to something fun. Death, yeah, none of that shit matters. Nothing matters. None matters. Defend the shield. I don't fucking care. Rupi, that's who you want. I like. I like the Giants. Or <laughs> the track record of. I think what I think about the owners. It ain't just really a Jerry thing. And even if Jerry is the one good apple, let's pretend, or the O'Mara's are the good app, like let's we can pretend it's still a mm -hmm. problem in their private run organization. I agree. Indeed. So I'm with you that's 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 my stance on it. Yeah. Um one of the worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh I la all right, two things back to Thanksgiving briefly. Okay. Two things that really stopped me in my tracks while I was home doing absolutely nothing. Oh shit! They really changed how the holidays 
hit us. None of the holidays mean what they used to. Halloween, Thanksgiving. I'm waiting for the remix of Christmas, but it has it hadn't gotten here yet. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, it's, it hadn't gotten here yet. The fellas keep trying to make that one change too. But you ladies, you keep it alive, boy. What you mean? Uh, the fellas want to get right to New Year's Eve. <laughs> I'm just keeping it buck. I like Christmas. The fellas want. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Christmas. I, 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 I don't. Nah, I, I was Christmas. just trying to see where he was going uh, before. I... Y'all like Christmas? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I don't like the um, the uh, corporate aspect of it particularly, but I like the. I like. Yeah, I like the Christmas season. I, yeah, like, I like the Christmas season. It, it's in line with Thanksgiving with me. Like I think that the holidays, if you are, or if you have a family, mm -hmm. it just hits different. You know what I'm saying? If you got wife, kids, all of that stuff, it just uh -huh. hits different because a lot of that shit is for your kids. Yeah. Christmas is for kids. For sure. When I like you start it for getting my kids. older, huh? I like it for my kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So if you don't have that, I like it for my kids. And my family. Aspect, I like, you know, I hosted the a party. My wife's the whole family was there. My friends were there. We had a good time. I like that. Don't. I don't care about any of the uh, gifts and all other the shit. stories they told us about what these shits are supposed to mean. Yeah, yeah I don't we've, care. We've I just want to hang out with my friends and family. It's an excuse for family get together, drink good, and celebrate life. So. And with, with Thanksgiving, you know, we, we we usually get a good slate of uh, football games. Yeah, with Christmas, we get a great slate of basketball games. Yeah, like it, and football this year. And, oh yeah, and football this year. Yeah, like I don't care about the origin, the origins of the holiday, and oh, it meant this. I don't give a fuck about that. It's an excuse for us to gather with our family. Me, I'm very y'all. Y'all know how I am about my family, so I fuck with it. Heavy. I make it all racy in my as I age. So <laughs> I'm looking at Corey on that. Uh, yeah. nigga Grace as, jumped out his beard. As, like, as y'all talk, I'm just like, great that you guys uphold the image of Christopher Kringle in your home. We don't even like, do that. Yeah, I don't care about. We don't even do that. Santa. Yeah. It ain't about Santa. Cookies none of that. Again, milk, it's it's just family dressing shit. Dressing it up. They made all the good shit white. Santa Claus, Jesus, we get black cats, <laughs> we get bad luck. <laughs> Yo, they will embed some shit in the. Oh, man. Hey, your dog was wrong. <laughs> you <laughs> that one down. <laughs> oh, man. You, you play pool on the green earth. The white ball got to knock the black all ball. The Come off. on, man! <laughs> knock all the colors and off at first. The end, it's the black ball that gets knocked off to win the game. Listen, hey, I already know they got us. I don't fight no more. <laughs> they got us. <laughs> this guy is a cool kid. Oh. Stop playing, man. I'm leaving for New Year's. I'm getting out of here. I will not be here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going. Go somewhere warm. I'm just. I don't. I don't like New York on New Year's Eve. Yeah. I hate it. Actually, hate. I'm not. I'm with you. It ain't it. Yeah, I'm in line. Yeah, but that's because we're from here. But I get it. Yeah, because my fuckers would travel to come here. To, Niggas yeah, come yeah. here for New Year's. I used to have a lot of fun in, in New Year's in, in my 20s. Now it's like... I'm See, just, I don't go out. So I used to. Again, yeah, that's, another, back, that's another family thing for me. Even yeah. back then when, when I was here trying to go out, y'all was jacking prices up like it was All-Star Weekend for parking, regular stuff. Parking, the door at the club, the dinner reservations, everything. It was like, yo, dog, y'all bugging. Yeah. I live here. I'll go home. And be back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. The traffic I'll outside. I'll let you niggas on the third. The crime, don't get me started again. But anyway, uh, Wallow. I laughed at this for like 45 <laughs> minutes. I'm not going to hold you. Yeah. What Wallow did, man. I, I couldn't tell if this was a well-orchestrated uh, plan or oh, heart was just in if the this place. was debauchery at its <laughs> finest. Oh, man. Wallow's got such a great credit report out there that nobody was angry, nobody was mad. He still gave some money away. Mm -hmm. He had a $1 bill wrapped around the money he was giving away, so I couldn't count what he was giving away. I was trying to. <laughs> Wallow told people that 15 ladies, if you go to this Target, mm -hmm. uh, two carts, whatever you put in the cart, I'm buying it for you. Don't okay. matter what goes in the cart, I'm buying it. I'm picking 15 people. That's what we're doing. Okay. So, of course, a huge crowd runs to the Target. Sure. On Thanksgiving. Target's not open on Thanksgiving. Oh, shit. <laughs> Target's closed. That's funny. That's funny. I don't think he knew. Now, that shit is forget crazy. about this. That, it was hilarious, though. We, I, it didn't even start here in my brain. It started with, Wallow keeps finding these isolated streets and hopping in that Mercedes and 
turn in the corner real fast. You do 30 and come to a complete stop. Hops out, leave the door open, and start talking to a camera. These niggas are content gods. <laughs> <laughs> That's right up there with uh, Yandy and Mendeecees throwing away the, the jail outfit with security walked them to the garbage can to throw away the jail <laughs> outfit. And they left the door open too. That was hilarious. Listen, some funny moments on the internet. But anyway... <laughs> Wallow hop out in a Mercedes hoodie and a Mercedes hat. Mm -hmm. That took up 30 minutes of laughter right there. I had to stop. I had to stop right there and take a take a second. But Wallow been in jail for 20 years. So go ahead and buy the Mercedes merchandise. <laughs> he might have got it for free. Well, now I got to thinking, or, 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 oh shit, or, or he's he doing an ad. He's doing an ad. He yeah. might have got an ad. Yeah. He's doing an ad for Mercedes somehow. Mm -hmm. got an ad. That's dope. Get that dude. money. Get that guap. And this Target thing is an ad from somewhere. He, this guy is getting all the money in the, he in the universe. And whoever he's doing business with, got to be a stat. That couldn't have went any more perfect. A line of hysteria True. outside of True. a closed Target on Thanksgiving. True. That's how that's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, he that smoked was, that. He inspired me. I'm going to do, do a little something. I got a couple of dollars for you. Yeah. I'm going to do um, this Sunday. This first... 20 people meet me at Chick-fil-A. I got you. Okay. The one on 22. Mm. First, first, oh, the only 20, though. Mm. Okay. I'm a deputy. Yeah. I think, there, um, I think there might be a problem with that. Nah, I'm just... He inspired me, bro. That's the thing. You pay it forward. You get me? You pay it forward. So, mm. hey, do a little giveaway. You know, it's that time of the year. Give what you a little chicken sandwich or something. What day you doing it, yo? This Sunday. This Sunday, though. Are you going to give money away or not? No, I'm Try. buying chicken sandwiches. Chick-fil-A is closed every Sunday. I'm aware. <laughs> oh, man, what you doing? Bro? Everybody don't need a platform. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong? He's like, is a super villain. He's, he's, like, shit, he's nah. like Raheem 22. <laughs> he's Raheem 22. That's exactly who he is. Oh, man. It's man, crazy, yo. man. This guy is a kook, yo. And I think I wanted to attack Mark Lamont Hill, too. Mm. Well, he did. He woke up Thanksgiving morning and put out a little note mm. trying to get rid of mac and cheese forever. I'm sorry? What, excuse me? Yeah. Man, we could square up. No, he did. Yes, he did. Let me try to find the note. But it was bad. You can't slander mac and Here cheese. Here it is. Just giving my annual reminder that mac and cheese is the most overrated food in history. It's not the main dish. It's dry noodles and cheese. Not a mas. Your but, beloved granny's version, your special recipe, your fancy new take, all mid. Sorry, it had to be said. Enjoy your day. I don't care for this messaging. Yeah, I, I'm off. I'm off letting low vibrational shit affect me. Mm. Stay over there with that. I wanted all the low vibrational plate. Yeah, me too. No, I had. My shit was plates, an 808. Man. Mark might ain't never had a slap. Yeah, it, it sounds like it could be that way. You never had the row, the roux in it. <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck the <laughs> What's up, good brother? Man, this is Joe Budden calling live on air. May I speak to Mark Lamont Hill, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing much. First of all, I hope you enjoyed your holiday. I, I did, hope, I, I hope did, your man. family is well, and I hope you are well-fed and well-nourished. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I'm calling so you can explain your mac and cheese take to me. <laughs> me, me, me and my audience. Yo, I'm sitting here. My my son, my lady, we sitting here. I was like, what? Joe Button is calling me. I said, I, I said I'm busy by my answer because this is my man. He looked out for me. I said, I, I wonder what's going on Oh, yeah, because we, we only talk when shit is hot for one of us. <laughs> right. Exactly. exactly. That's, That's when we kick What's it. going on? Mac and cheese. Yo, he want to know about mac and cheese. <laughs> Y'all Jersey niggas, man. Look, all right, so <laughs> here, here's the simple thing, right? Mac and cheese is fine. Like, I'm not, I don't hate mac and cheese. Some shit I hate. I hate pros. You know what I'm saying? Mac and cheese is fine. If you give me some noodles, I'll eat them. If you give me some cheese, I'll eat them. I grew up on school lunch. We ate cheese all the time. We ate, we ate bread all the time. We ate noodles all the time. It's all ordinary. The problem is y'all act like mac and cheese is some special delicacy that fell out the sky. It's noodles and cheese. And I don't care how good y'all think it is which from your grandma, from your auntie, from your mom, your special recipe. The shit is average. It's, it's, it's 
average at best, man. And y'all just go up for it and y'all should stop. Y'all y'all need y'all deserve better things. Who makes your mac and cheese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where'd you grow up? Where you been where you been eating your mac and cheese at? All right, so so all right, I'm I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you one piece of information. Maybe Nana will. didn't jazz it up the way it was supposed no, to be I, jazzed. I, 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 Nana, Nana ain't had that hanging gonna, right there when she you made think it. It's gonna make your point, but you're still wrong. All right, here's the thing. My mom was not a good cook. That is true. Mm. So I grew up not knowing that food tasted good. So <laughs> I, <laughs> I, <laughs> we cracked the case. <laughs> you the case, man. Listen, Voila. Voila. Oh, you ain't cracked no case, man. Listen, so so. But th- this is actually how I know I'm right. So I thought nothing tasted good. So I went when I became an adult. I went around tasting everything shit that I thought wasn't. I was like, oh, pasta is good. Oh, f- you can have seasoning in sauces. Oh, pancakes ain't supposed to be black. I did all the, <laughs> I did all the shit right. And I came, I came together for mac and cheese, expecting this shit to blow my mind. I thought mac and cheese was about to be the greatest shit I ever ate in my life. I went to soul food restaurants in Harlem. I went to my auntie's house. I went to my grandma's house. The ones that cook, cook. I went to people's cousins. You house. ain't go see went, Mel or, or Sylvia. Nah, Shark Bar. <laughs> Bro, I, I that shark bar before, mac used to be white right. to eat mac and cheese, and the shit was fine. It was fine. It, I wasn't mad. I never need to eat mac and cheese again. And the problem with y'all is everybody think their house got the special mac and cheese. Like, like if I go to their grandmom's house, if I go to their auntie's house, and I taste their special recipe. I'ma suddenly have my mind blown. You can't turn me out for Mark mac and Lamont cheese. Mark Lamont Hill, I root for you. I root for you. <laughs> like you are one of the people that when I see on on my internet or my TV, I say. It's my man right there, but I'm going to have to add a caveat to him. <laughs> man, that's up there with not knowing how to play spades or something. Like, we got to review his card. If your people can tell me a good spot to go to, I'll, I'll try it one more time. But it gotta, this is the one only time, time I'm ever going to try that shit You know again. what? I might, I might make some for you. Bro. I might have to make some for you because you're too important to, to our culture to have these views. Bro, I will come on the show. I will try it. And if it's good, I, I'm not going to be like the board is like, y'all, nah, I'm not. It's all right. And, 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 if it's good, I'm going to say it's, 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 I'm, I'm, I will change my mind publicly. All right. If this shit is good. Do you eat hot sauce? What, you hot, you hot, I got a check. I, I got a check. I got a check. I got a check. Go down the oh, list. Can you I play spades? Oh, I'm just checking. Right. Do, do, do I clap on two and four? What you fuck? Now I'm not black. <laughs> yeah, I got to know, bro. I got to know what you do. Do, do, you know, do you play spades? I just asked oh, him. All right. Well, yo, I'm glad that you're well. Send your family. I love. And yeah, I'm going to talk to you soon, Mark. All right, fam. Peace. Peace. Peace out. Now, I do agree that mac and cheese should not be the, like the main dish. It's a side dish. I'm going to I can't, listen, I'm not going to agree with him. Mm-hmm. Most people's macaroni and cheese is mid. That is true. That too. is true, that bro. That so is also true. Most macaroni and cheese is mid. A lot but of when people, you get the real macaroni and cheese. That's like most girls' head. Like it's the same Most thing. girls' head is a C. Okay. Okay. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. It now is, you but. Damn, head is there macaroni we, and cheese. Damn, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, here we are. The average I mean, head yeah, we, is the average <laughs> Mac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he right. he's, Mark is right because if you go around to all of these places, most people's macaroni and cheese is, it's all right. Don't give me no head without some roux in it. That exactly. Talk, I need to find out what roux is. I'm going to Google roux on our next break. The roux is the magic potion. Yeah. And the right cheeses. You got to use the right cheeses. You niggas is. Yeah, she got to get that. You niggas is using <laughs> y'all using eggs in y'all mac and cheese. Yeah, like it's just, it. I don't yeah, that ain't saw, one of we, the places. We different. We different. We different. Don't put no eggs in my stupid mac. ass internet got me looking at how Chris Sean makes mac and cheese. I'm like, what the hell? No. I hate the internet. How she no. make it? I'm gonna call Files. <laughs> I'm gonna call Files. No. Cut this off. You watch too. Yeah. Look, you watch and see if she had fire. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's a mess. Anyway, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. Like it's stupid. Uh, all right, I'm, that's all my Thanksgiving shit. I'm done with Thanksgiving now. I'm done. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All clear. Nice little. Speak Mark Lamont Hill. Mm-hmm. En- engaging, articulate black man. Mm-hmm. Mr. Ben Watson sat around the table. Mm. He's as engaging. Talked about how he and his wife text back and forth. Mm-hmm. One of his white coworkers said, oh, yeah, that's not what she says in the text message to me. I love this topic. Yeah, they, they this to one of my, I love this topic. Yeah. We should have started with this, but Ish wanted to fucking show his cowboy loyalty. <laughs> Come on. I love, I love this. I love this. Why do I love it? Well, do y'all want to talk about this before I say why I love it? I love it because 
The do's and don'ts of joking about somebody's girl or wife. Family, yeah. mother. Fam- now, yeah. Once it hits wife, it's a different. No, it's a different. It's cultural. No, no, I think it's no, cultural. Yes. Girl or wife. Yes. For me. No, mothers too. Mother. Oh, mothers, mothers too, for, nigga, sure. Yeah, for sure. Somebody said your mom, your, your mother. That was it. Yeah. Yo, but now yeah. it's different. Yeah, your mother's right in line with suck my you dick. Guys, we're not unpacking no. what your mother means. But not, so the, the yes. wife, the mother, are they in line. Yeah. Let's put that as the baseline. And everybody's culture is different. Mm hmm. So I think my man got learnt an introduction. He got a nice introduction into ours. He said, "Yo, that's not what your wife say when she texts me." Everybody, <laughs> and next scene you cut, 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 cut. Well, that was just two of us here. Well, explain it for the people that don't. What What are the the, the do's and don'ts? You don't play with this. people's wives. Keep Sam, my wife's name put, out your yeah. mouth. Yeah. What Will Smith said is the best. Yeah, yeah. Especially in a manner that insinuates something else. It's mm-hmm. not funny. I saw some tweet the other day too. Chris Rock had mentioned her once since. A <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little bit. A little Man, bit straightening. Bro, like, come on. And when the next scene, they cut it, they came back, and you see Ben coming back, fixing his jacket, a <laughs> little out of breath. What are the other do's and don'ts? Why do they never come back? Y'all trying to hide in the in the shadows of, of whatever Ben Watson did. Let's get all the do's and don'ts. Let's get Eddie Murphy raw in this conversation. Kids. No, I mean, when it comes to your girl or wife. And somebody else mentioning them? Yeah. No, and no, and just period, as it pertains to that. Like, I've seen, and niggas ain't got to tell me, because I know who y'all are. I've seen, I could tell when my friend has had to talk with his girl <laughs> about how to move and how not to move True. in a social setting True. with friends. True. Mm-hmm. And in that list, there are not do's and don'ts, but there's a reason for why you're saying whatever you're saying. So I'm saying, what are some of those other ideologies that men have across the board about how to handle our partner? In public, y'all make me feel like I'm speaking parents. French. No, 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 no I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hear what you're saying. I want to hear. Want you to get your point out. I remember my ex, <clears throat> like, everybody views what you wear around the house differently. Mm-hmm. So some dudes... Oh, that's an important one. Some dudes okay. let their girl walk around the house wearing spandex. That, this mm-hmm. is an important one. You can't do that in my house. Like, we're we not doing that. Like, when there's company around, obviously. Yes, go, yeah. Get your, yeah. go get some... Yo, I got a drawer full of basketball shorts. Uh-huh. You get some, and you put on one of my T-shirts, and that's how you walk around the house. You could put on sweats. You could put on... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, in my opinion, a certain etiquette. Like, your halter top is not f- okay when my, my niggas when the, is when, in the house. Yeah, when the homies is in the house. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain shit. Everybody views that differently, though. Some dudes, it's cool. Like, your girl can have on spandex, whatever the fuck she wants. But, to your point... If my wife does decide to wear something that someone may or may not uh, determine as revealing, don't make no comment about it. Oh yeah, don't I know. Make no don't comment. But we not even going. We not even going to get there because I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have you change clothes prior to. Yeah, maybe so. But, but what, yeah, what if yeah. she? What if she's Indeed. out or something? She comes she coming back, from the gym, some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, coming right. from the gym right. or something, and then someone makes a comment. No, don't. We say, gotta have yeah, a conversation yeah. now. Yeah, you're right. I Absolutely. Agree. What's your thing about the spandex? It's too. You don't want anything form fitting. Revealing. Well, spandex isn't revealing. That's why it's well, that's true. Like, yeah, yeah, spandex. Yeah, right, right. It's not. It's not skin, but it's form fitting. It de- so we're gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. It depends on your girl's body type. It's different, and whether we want to acknowledge it or not. So if your girl is mad, mad skinny, mm-hmm. like we might see a girl out, mm-hmm. and she has on something that is smaller uh-huh. or tighter. Mm-hmm. But her body isn't as voluptuous. Mm-hmm. It's a different presentation. Fair, I guess. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yes. Like, you, yeah, yeah, right? you, like I don't want to yeah. go off the ledge. So if your girl is well, voluptuous, you're right in this room. <laughs> I want to be clear. Yeah, yeah. While y'all are all agree, like, like, um, we, we've seen women have different body types. Mm-hmm. It's something that one woman might wear. Woman A, mm-hmm. it might not look at the same as woman B. It's unfortunate. Again, a teacher got reprimanded because just of her body type. Mm-hmm. The moms in the school district were mad at her body type. Yes. If the, the lady could have wore the same exact and outfits. Was, and, and it that, was hate. And it was hate. It was but definitely hate. The lady yeah. could have wore the same exact outfits and had a different body structure and nobody would have said a thing. Correct. Okay, cool. So I think that if your girl is one of those that have a certain body type, mm-hmm. your man's coming over and your girl wearing certain shit is enticing your dudes. 
Uh, I don't see. I don't. I don't. It's, it's a real fine line, but I don't, see it's it's I don't have a problem with exits her house. I ain't hear what you said. I said I don't have a problem with exits her house. If she wants to wear what she wants to wear, as long as it's not crazy, like what, don't come out with some lingerie or some shit like that. What but determines crazy? I just said if it's lingerie, sure. But if you're just wearing spandex and you have a body, like it is what it is. Like Ooh. that's what you're comfortable in, and, and and that's why every dude is different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like every dude is different. Everybody stands in what they stand in. You know what I'm saying. I'm just saying that that was my. Thing like yo, you got it. Well, I thank you for sharing that, and I'm being serious. No, nah, I'm just. Saying I wouldn't that. guess that. No, everybody's different. You got any of those? I mean, it ain't as deep as the spandex shit. Just you know, I was just throwing I it out there. Yeah, like, yeah. I was just using that little shit with the ass out, like yeah, you know, yeah. Little, little shorts, little like shirt. boy shorts. Your yeah, girl wears yeah. boy shorts around the crib when it's just the two of y'all. Mm -hmm. Like my girl walk in the house and immediately strips. Yes, girls take their off shit the off the rip. Yes, like she's walking around and just. Boy shorts, the bare panties, minimum. Yeah, yeah. I, somebody, yo, you got those something more, like something like that. That's that's it though. Like, on the flip side, do y'all have any? Do they are any of those restrictions on you guys? Like, my is there girl, something that you y'all can't wear? My girl, I told you I can't wear gray sweats. Yeah, my girl ain't a fan of gray sweats. <laughs> she, she, she's made. She put her foot down about that. My girl ain't a fan of gray okay, sweats. Mr. Like, Magnum XL. Mr. Me, my bad. Mr. Me, my bad. Whoa. Don't don't go around showing my my package off to double, anybody. Double lift. Shit, she hit me after she hit me after that Melly episode. She's like, yo, yeah, Grace Swiss on and Melly was there, huh? Mm. That's what you think you're doing? Nah, my girl in the family. Yeah, Grace and I would be. Like did you did you have the honest talk with her? That's why she had a problem because she knew I would be. Yeah, Ice has been um, vocal about his Melly dumb. <laughs> that little not near long girl, I bumped into her page on Instagram too. <laughs> a lot of likes on there. Oh my god, <laughs> yo, yo, the the, the women that y'all put on my algorithm, I just go see who did it. Like, yeah, oh, me look, too. Look at oh, look at the little igloo. <laughs> look at the old know. igloo back at it. About. I hit follow too. Go ahead, nigga. I, I bet you did. Hey, no, nah, I like me alone. I know. And the one, and not me alone. I like me alone. And not. <laughs> <laughs> no. We know, no. Joe. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Front of Yo, us. the Newark boy. It's tough always fighting two people. But my whole <laughs> life. Fighting but them, my whole yo. life. The girl But my cute. whole life. Oh, it's been man. it's been a thing my whole life though. Oh. Oh. You always got jumped. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it was a jump. <laughs> I'm saying, saying that was a normal occurrence. Okay, got you. It's cool. Anyway, I seen somebody under there. Don't step on my joke. Don't tag team back again. Check it to wreck it. Let's begin. Party on party. Don't do that. I'm talking to him. The fact that you know them lyrics. Party on party people, let me make some noise. These you know in the house, jump, jump for joy. Oh. I said a party over. Yeah, don't get me started. <laughs> we, we know. Damn, you got that mental Rolodex this off the dog. You're a rapper. It's cool. It's a classic. Summer camp, Lincoln Park, 93, 94. All the other camps was there. That's when I learned that my camp didn't have the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh. And here come the fucking little camp counselor. Oh, don't go over there, Pastor. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> If you think I'm sticking around with these loser kids. <laughs> going over there to get them plums I and juice. I am out. <laughs> I'm going. Yo, what the heck? It's one. Fam, summer camp, that's all oh, niggas man. eat. Yeah, look at your man. Yo, ice. <laughs> Ice. Yo, y'all niggas are still <laughs> such fun, yo. It's all right. It's cool. Yo, everybody got that uncle that just sexualized everything. <laughs> Man, he just said, yo, the summer camp didn't have the girls. I said, yo, I'm going over there to get... Never mind. It's cool. <laughs> stupid, yeah. he, uh, he, he stood in his uncle them. Uh, no, that's my man right there. That's, that's Uncle Pod, yo. Man. That's a nutcase. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I don't even know who he was talking about, though. Summer camp. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. How do, I get this do, on? do you have? Oh, you I was to trying to crack on ice and you bailed him out. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. It's fine, buddy. Come on, move him right along. <laughs> move him right along. What else we got? <laughs> give it to me. I thought she was gonna give us some of your do's and don'ts. That's mm. what we were. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a lot of do's and don'ts. I believe in being free. And I've tried to have that fight before. And I identified when the woman said, well, if it's Sunday and I want to walk around uh, butt-ass naked in my house, then what should happen? Don't bring your friends over. <laughs> yeah. I, I agreed when she said that. Yeah. So, because I, I feel her. Yeah. I understand that. That's why I got the man cave, the whole separate, separate space. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you, you can be up there yeah. having time, yeah. and I'll, yeah. we'll be down here having the time. Got to invest in a man cave. I mean, you only build them. <laughs> <laughs> I got to invest in a man. Hey, cave. man, that could be a new. Maybe specialty. that's not for you. A man cave? Yeah, maybe you don't. That's maybe it's just, if it ain't your thing, it ain't your thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, let's stop your shit. Man. Maybe she, maybe she got the basement. Like, nah, this, this my area. You right. You, I, you, you I also want to take some time to big up Blair Underwood, man. Yo, I support anybody that's bold enough to live in their truth. And normally, the internet do too, except for like now. Well, Blair, Y'all get real choosy with people living in their truth, and you support it, and people living in their truth, and you don't. What well, Blair did? Blair Underwood. Uh, is getting a divorce from his wife of thirty years or something like that. Hate I think, I think, I think they got the divorce. Oh no, they got the divorce. Yeah, they divorced. Yeah, and he's dating his best friend of the last twenty eight years, and the internet's angry at him. And I want to know why. I don't know why. Why are you looking at me? I, I felt, you know, over I making faces I felt, and I felt I bad. Take, cracking up. <clears throat> how difficult it must be. Listen, how difficult it must be to suppress your feelings and your emotions for and not years. be with the person that you really, truly love oh, for 28 years. Oh, I read that totally different. How sad must it be to live a double life there you go. and have to fake this emotion that isn't really in your heart? To go to bed at night and not be able to talk about the one person that you truly love with whoever this person is that's laying next to you. It hurts. For 28 years. It's a long time. For 28 time, years. It's a long time. You know, in that's jail, depression. when you really are, when, when they really want to reprimand you, they, they throw you in pitch black with no communication or contact with the outside world. For months and months and months at a time. I imagine this to be what that feels like. I equate the pain. Mm. So to see the internet act like that for our brother Blair Underwood, it was disturbing, man. It was. It's Usher. It was. Hmm? It's Usher. I don't know what you mean. You make me want to. Mm, 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 mm. Same song. It's cool. He was with the... She hooked him up, knowing it should have been you. Mm. Mm. It's cool. No? Yeah, no applause for our brother. <laughs> yo, stop playing, yo. What, what was your take? Uh, nigga. That's yeah. my take. Yes, nigga. That's a rough one. Love wins. Uh, that's a rough one. I got to pretend over here. This is where I wanted. I've been with her. So now yeah. I get to really be with her. You think it was popping for 28 years? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> yes Don't bring me around No nigga you popping yo. And that's a long time To hold it down too Shout yeah. out to her for, Fam Shout out to her <laughs> Yo don't bring me around No nigga Shout you out for fucking for 20 joints. Really waiting Waiting out what? that chick That thought there was a competition Played, uh, so, Hey Held it down Hey wait, MVP way to, way to get rid of that woman That was living in there <laughs> <laughs> After a long 30 Way to Way to wait the game out It takes patience to win the chip Yeah It takes some patience You're gonna go through hard times 30 nigga. Don't bring no nigga around me, you popping. I don't don't bring <laughs> Why, what me. you gonna do? How you gonna know? If I found out who's popping? Pop him, nigga. It's happened to you. It's, let me be the one. I, to I, you. It probably did. Don't bring the nigga around me that you're popping. She introduced you to him. You know him already. I might. I don't know he's pop. Or popping. I don't know. That's disrespectful. You're not like, supposed to know. Shut up. <laughs> yo, yo, That's nigga, the whole purpose. You're up. not supposed that to know. That nigga's so phony, yo. There's nothing you can Hold do. Up. I'm phony. There's you can do. Stop Mr. it. Mr. I don't want to know it. is phony. Dog, if you find out or if you find you out that it at right some there. point your girl what you brought about? the nigga around you was eating your mac and cheese I, with the happened. roux in it and he was busting it's your bitch happened. ass. It's happened. It's happened. What I'm trying to tell you is it's happened to most men whether y'all know it or not. So I'm trying to walk you through it. What you going to do about it? But nothing. If I find out about it? Yes. I'm going up top. Of who? Him. No, you're not. You out your fucking you, mind. No, you're not. That's a lie. So you wait. Are, uh, let me. Let, let, let me. Let me. So you saying y'all y'all split up? She with this nigga. You find out he was popping while y'all was together. You going up top on him? Yes. Why? It's not his fault. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's what you said. That's but not you true. Told me before, like she chose. She did. Ch- 
Listen, and what I told you before is, if I don't know the nigga, I'm not mad at the man. You don't know him. I she do just, know him. He's just, been in my house eating my food for 30 years. Eat your own Cheerios, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here. He wants yours. My fucking house eat my Captain Crunch laying on my... Nigga. <laughs> out your fucking mind. You put yourself in this situation. I'm just trying to imagine one. Your girl introduced you to somebody that mm. you do not know while y'all was together. True. You maybe have seen him two or three times while you were with your girl. Over 28 years I'm not stretch. talking about oh, that. Him. I okay. just mean No, 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 period. no, no. I don't know. Mm -mm. He owes me you nothing. You and her break up. He owes me nothing. Okay, I'm that's not mad what at him. I'm okay. saying. Okay. No, I'm not You're talking about this situation. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about their situation where they've been, so where they been quote unquote besties mm. for 28 years. You fucking my dude for 28 years and you smiling in my face bringing me anniversary gifts and birthday gifts. All right, let me ask you, uh, let me put a little twist on it. Let's say they wasn't fucking during, during that time. But the breakup was so rough, she became the shoulder to cry on. True. Mm. And something built that, out of that. That could have taken place. That could you have still, taken you place. You still mad at that dude? No. Mm -mm. So again, you may never know That's how true. long they've been fucking. That is true. So, so then the going up top on him part is it's null and void at that point. In the, in the that's, scenario that's that Joe gave, you like, know. yo, two or three times, oh, what's up, dog? I man? don't get mad at that because we, man, we do the same thing. I know. I, yeah, we do the same exact thing. I I've been the I dude. Can't. I told y'all, I've been. Yeah, the dude I don't. But that, what she done introduced. I, I'm not doing. Yo, this my brother. I ain't doing that. It doesn't feel good. What up, good. Man, What's good with there. you? I'm not kicking with no nigga. I'm popping his chick. It was uh, taking to the town. <laughs> you so phony. Yo. That's the truth. That's not my man. Bro, I, I live in that nothing. off camera, off mic. I'm not pollying with no nigga who chick I'm popping. She at all me, she I dap me. him up Yo what's up And I'm gone she I'm not sitting pilot. there I'm not talking to him I'm not entertaining him I'm not doing none of that Cause I don't want that done to me No Captain Crunch None of that She, nope. asked, she asked me to do that Because that makes it nah, easier I'm In good. her situation good. So. Don't bring me around I was cool nigga. Don't bring me around Okay buddy <laughs> no, I'm, saying, no, like, I'm, not, I'm just saying like, I, I just I think that that's Some real grimy shit mm -hmm. and, if, and if you get caught You deserve everything That come along with that it's my opinion. Humping on no nigga wife. Kiki and Hello. Face. Oh, okay. I just seen your message. Uh, so is downstairs? Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and bring that plate right to the driver outside. He's right outside your house. Go ahead okay. and drop it right to him. You want something? You need something to drink? Oh, yeah, sure. Ice tea? Sure. Would love you that. You got ice. Right? You got the fridge. Right? Yep. Yeah. Listen, I'm sending mommy's food, and I'm sending her that bowl of potato salad from both of y'all. I know that stuff's not going to make it to mommy. So I ain't worried about it, and you ain't worried about it. Oh. And I'm snitching it might, it on might air. Get to her. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> oh, on air, so I mean, she's gonna hear it now. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Jackie's right about Lex. Man. Uh, yeah, my I parents don't care about my job right now. So <laughs> and, uh, but he's he's in um, the studio, so he got. Oh, no, so he, he does know. <laughs> <laughs> Pop was good. Hey, Corey, what's wait, good, wait, man? hey, hey, Pop, wait, the real quick before we go. Yes. Ish is really excited about that Cowboys win yesterday. Wow. Yeah, that's that's why I don't like the Cowboys. Good not because exactly. of their fans. Exactly. Of their, exactly. Their fans. exactly. Their exactly. Fans kill me. Pops and Giants fans too? Kill me. Not really. No. No. Like, they, they beat up on a uh depleted giant team at home. What happened the first game? Three offensive linemen, both the starting quarterbacks. Yeah, they yeah. What the happened Cowboys the first game? Y'all depleted that game too, huh? The Cowboys are great. They what? are they are great. You're, you're ducking yeah. my question. What happened the first game? Y'all was depleted that game too. I, I, we're talking about last night game. What happened to the game uh, with Dallas? I mean with uh, Green Bay. If you want to go back to game, I said what happened against the Giants the first game? Y'all were depleted that game too. Yeah. No, no, they didn't discover themselves. They didn't discover themselves. You know, they, you, they you want the Giants. The Giants don't have any talent. They have a great coaching staff. Imagine the Dallas had a great coaching staff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, you can't even mad at me. I ain't gonna say a word. Yeah, team, you can't win. Up, you can't win. All right, Pop, back to it. I'll call you later. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Yo. What else we got? What else we got? Give it to me. Oh man. Yo, tell me what Balenciaga did, man. I kept hearing I He played like a little snippet before uh uh Balenciaga Tucker, wild. Tucker put, Carlson, right? 
Yeah, Tucker Carlson. But that was uh, kind of breaking. We didn't really know what, what was happening. Well, I played it for you. <laughs> Why y'all don't know what was I happening? I don't necessarily trust that gentleman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, well it was real shit. When you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah no uh, doubt. They put out they they were they put out an ad where a child was holding several. Well, yeah, it was a few different ads, but mm-hmm. no several children. Children. children were holding these dolls that were wrapped in. I, I think they were bags. Yeah. I think okay. they were like pocketbooks or bags, but, they but were in the shape in, of teddy bears or wrapped in bondage. S and M shit. That's weird. So the teddy bear had like um like whips and chains and stuff. Yeah, shit. like like fishnets and leather shit, like S and M attire. Mm-hmm. And they had these little kids standing there holding the, the 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 bags with like these serious faces. The fuck? Candace Owens, who I'm not the biggest fan of, she took it a step further and showed in the ad. Right? A table. No, Tucker Carlson showed that part. Oh, the same thing. Oh, I didn't see The paperwork his. underneath. The paperwork underneath uh-huh. went to a, uh, a U.S. Supreme Court ruling that um, made these laws for pedophilia mm. less, less harsh. So wow. I don't understand how that's a mistake when in no, this ad, it's an ad, a Balenciaga uh-huh. ad, how the fuck does this magical Supreme Court paperwork Yes, get, get that's intentional, un- yo. That's intentional. That's intentional. You yeah. don't just have court documents laying around a photo shoot. Yeah, like, you just don't have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit it's was- definitely intentional. I'm not going to hold you. That's some creepy shit. That's weird. I'm glad I've never bought some Balenciaga in my life. Word. That's what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but nah, that, that's some creepy shit. That's weird. Well, I think they blamed it on some third party company, whoever they hired to do the ad. I'm not rolling with none of that. Me neither. neither. Yeah. Me either. None of it. Because you still hired him at the end of the even you if you still were gotta press play. Uh, yeah, you yeah. upload or whatever. Yeah. Got I don't care. On a yeah. higher level to to screen all of this shit uh-huh. and proof it before it goes out. Like right. shit hits multiple people and it's checked off. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody signs off on it before it airs. It ain't like we got it, we ran it. it was nice. And no matter what, again, if you hired the people, they are now basically agents of you. Yeah. Like that is also true. It's ugly. It's nasty. Now, let me ask you, well, I think we're all in agreement that, especially once you mentioned the paperwork, I just pulled it up and took mm-hmm. a look at it, um, mm-hmm. that it was deliberate. Do you think this is intentional? Because out- that's a thing, intentional outrage marketing. Yeah, we've talked about it a bunch on here. Yeah. So do you think this is a case of that where, yo, we know they're going to see this. We know they're going to get mad. It's going to blow up. Or is it something deeper? Possibly. Possibly. I don't think so. I, I-, I think the end result is the same, though. It's still nasty no matter how you slice it and no matter what your end goal is. It's disgusting. The, the, the real end result is niggas ain't going to do nothing about it. Mm. Mm. Speak for yourself. Yeah, that, I don't know that to be true. That's a little ugly. Do you I know got sneakers on right now? I know. I'm just saying, like, people are still going to buy and wear these brands. That's what I mean when I say people ain't going to do shit about it. But there may be They'll a be bunch, mad for today. there may be a bunch to stop. That's true. There may be a bunch to stop. I just Show had this me. conversation recently with somebody, and I don't think that's highlighted enough. And we could do it today. Today's a great day to do it. It's Black Friday. Okay. Today's yeah, a great yeah. day to do it. My son was just throwing away all his Nikes down the incinerator. Mm-hmm. He don't right. know how funny that was to me, even though he was right. Because you shouldn't have that many Nikes and be that close to an incinerator. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you, yo? <laughs> he carried <laughs> You not, you not. I know yeah, you build yeah, houses. Yeah, Talk yeah, to me. Yeah, Fuck yeah, with yeah. me. You know what he <laughs> Fuck with me. I'm bugging. <laughs> but when he was doing that, after I finished laughing, <laughs> I started clapping. Right on, my son. And then I got to thinking about me and Nikes. That's outside of them fucking Air Force Ones I buy once a year. Ben stop. Ben stop doing that. Ben stop doing that. I felt proud. Yes. Fuck Nike. I'm out of here. I don't like how he t- he too he, t- he talking too crazy in regards to the Kyrie shit. It's just too arrogant. Who? It's just too arrogant when your business is built off the back of black uh, athletes. Uh, Phil Nike, he, gotcha. Phil Knight, Phil Knight. He is a little too he, a little too cocky for me. A little too much. So now, no more, no more for you. I think that if enough people start to say it, I'm not counting the people that are and aren't. I saw Gucci take a hit. I did. I'll be honest with you. I saw that one myself. I saw the lines wrapped around outside of Gucci, and I saw their handling of black people when they went to Gucci. And I saw that same Gucci take 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 it. No, nigga, what you saw was stop going what you saw was the stimmies and the PPPs no, dried up. No, that's when the lines no, was wrapped. No, nigga, mm-hmm. the lines still wrapped. I'm in the mall once a week. Nah, I don't. I don't. Bro, the ones I that I see, yeah, they ain't, ain't been wrapped like that, and I don't think it's because of uh, 
PPP. Now, your point stands because more people need to do it anyway. I agree more people you. should do it. I agree. I think that black people need to exercise the power of our dollar. If we are responsible for spending $1.8 trillion trillion. Mm. a year, then yeah, we cut, we cut water to that. We cut water to I ain't like that Phil Mackey shit. I, I, I ain't like it. He was, I, I, I just saw it. Actually, I just saw it the last couple of days. And the way he was talking, it was just crazy. But, and he was lying. That was my thing. Like, he was lying. Kyrie and Nike already was set to part ways. They had already oh, yeah. been set to part ways. And he jumped on and made it seem like he was standing for something. And that's why. They was already set to part ways. And mm. Kyrie's contract, from what I heard, was up in two or three months. Mm. So, nigga, y'all not. Y'all already been beefing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I think Kyrie's aunt, I think, is his handler or his business manager, uh -huh. whatever the case may be. And Kyrie was already beefing with Nike for the last couple of years. Mm. So you making it sound like you took this political stance and y'all... They do that a lot. Separate. I was going to say, like, from it's a bullshit. business standpoint, that's what you... Oh, this is an opportunity that fell in my lap I could capitalize off of and make, to make my brand look good. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. They all do that. Bullshit. I'm already cutting a loss with you. Now you did something where... Or you didn't do anything, but now there, there's this media storm around you it. that right. I can capitalize off of to make my brand look good, mm -hmm. make it seem like we taking a stand. It was like fucking Foot Locker saying, yo, we're not carrying Yeezy products in our stores. Nigga, you never did. <laughs> Where was a Foot Locker you could buy Yeezys? I'm, I'm, I'm disagreeing. I'm not aware but I'm just saying, it was just like, the, the brands was just trying to capitalize to take advantage of this and make it look like, hey, we fighting a good fight with mm, whoever. But, but to Joe's point, when I heard him talking, he was talking a little, yeah. Just yeah. a little too much dip on his chip. He was. He was. Just mm. a little too much dip on his mm, chip. Too much dip. Come on, since, since we're in the... I'm still low. Oh, please. Too That's an issue. Let me find everyone. Come on, since we're into the serious news, we'll just get all the way serious. Fuck it. Uh, I want to say rest in peace to the people that were murdered at that Chesapeake Walmart. Yeah, man. Walmart in Virginia. Horrible news. Gruesome story. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can't imagine families having to deal with that during this time of year. Mm -hmm. Word. Like during out. this season. It's disgusting. Uh, so I want to start with that. Uh, the dude who was an employee of the Walmart released a death note manifesto. And it's eerie. It's very chilling. It's very satanic. Really? It gives a bad vibe. I really, truly do believe in the power of words. So, especially when you speak them, power of the tongue. I'm not going to read this note. Yeah, I do. But mental illness is a thing. I and see. this country... For y'all people to be so woke or at least pretend to be, y'all are really asleep on some of the most more important matters, which is mental health mm -hmm. in this country. This, this for me sent chills through me because in his note, he spoke to uh, the victims harassing him and making jokes about him and his lifestyle and so, so on and so on, right? And all I could hear was the kids today when they say, Oh, I'm just trolling. I just be trolling. I never did like that because you it's it's not that's not a response to anything. It's not. You can troll and die. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that reality, I don't think that that reality hits home for for many people. I, I don't think let, that let, let I don't me, think any of these people deserve to lose their life. Let me be clear mm -hmm. over anything that they did or said. I also don't think they thought that the employee of Walmart uh, would come in the, in the break room with a list. And but I think it's selfish, yo. Like, I think, um, my bad for cutting you off, but ahead, I, I think it's selfish. Even up here, oftentimes, I'll try and uh, maneuver a certain way because, dog, when we talking about certain people, we talking about stars. Like, fam, the, Roddy Rich sat here the other day. And he said, yo, dog, niggas was talking about me and I ain't give a fuck what they was talking about. I was in a place where I had my grandma coming to my house to sleep in my crib because mm -hmm. I was so fucked up. So you have this 22 year old. 24. I mean, but no, but he was saying back then. Oh, yeah. Okay. When he was doing the album, he mm -hmm. was 22 years old. He's filthy rich. 
And we think that because these people have money, that all of their cares, because that's the justification. Mm-hmm. Yo, I don't give a fuck. Yo, they rich. Yo, why, why, why would they care what I'm saying about them? Mm-hmm. Dog, they still human beings. For sure. You know what I mean? And yeah. so we oftentimes, again, even up here, we mm-hmm. have a platform and we oftentimes say things about people or to people that could affect them in a way that's not favorable. I saw... Um, Somebody wrote to all the men out here now that the food is gone and the, and, and the, and the people are gone. Are y'all okay? Mm. Because on Thanksgiving, yo, we fronting, we laughing, we joking, we kikiing mm. while the family's here and while we eating the food and watching the games. Mm. But when everybody leaves your house and it's 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at nighttime, yo, you all right, dog? Mm-hmm. And we know shit hits hard around the holidays. Wow, yeah. True. They had the tape of the dude. He was kikiing in the um, break room. Before he oh. started, yeah, they had it. They released the tape. Oh my, you kidding me? They I'm had watching, him in, release the tape. Like he was laughing and joking and kicking and just casually carrying on wow. before he started killing people. Damn. Mm. Like, dog, a mm, lot of mm, these mm, people mm. really are fucked up mentally and going through things in their life. Mm. And we trolling, quote unquote, saying all of this mean shit mm-hmm. and not knowing how it's affecting somebody's well, life. Let, let me jump in. As, as a former troll, I'm going to. We grew up in the. Sticks and stones break my bones and ain't words and never hurt me. Shit. No, let, let me. Let, I'm, I'm speaking to Go you ahead. from a point that you will not understand. True. That's possible. I, I, I've trolled. You mm-hmm. haven't. So let me. You put these words out there like, ah, oh, nigga, man up. It's, it's like, if, if some, that's why if somebody say something bad about me and I've had the worst of the worst said to me about me, people tagging me, showing me what other people saying. But because I come from that, it, it rolls off. Now, that's the mindset that a lot of, especially in that in that earlier uh, earlier Twitter run, that's the mindset that a lot of people had. Nigga, it's just words. Like one of, it's a tweet that goes viral every couple of years. It's Tyler the Creator. He said, "Yo, what the fuck is cyberbullying? Nigga, just close your eyes, turn the computer off. Like, what do you mean you're being cyberbullied? Go outside. Like that's the way a lot of us thought about this shit. Like, yo, you're letting words from a stranger affect you. It does though. It. And that's the that's what has to get learned. It, it had uh, listen. It had to get learned. Like me, I'm speaking personally. I can't speak for nobody else. Mm-hmm. I started to realize that damn, the shit that I say personally mm-hmm. can affect you for real. Mm-hmm. It ain't just words. Oh shit! Like nigga, I'm joking over here. But it really tripped you out and had you fucked up. Mm-hmm. Damn! Now I feel bad. That wasn't the intention. That's why I'm off of it. I don't do that type of shit no more. But again, you just don't realize the power in what you're saying and how it's affecting the people that's seeing it. I think it's, I think one person is cool, but one leads to ten, which leads to a thousand. Sometimes it could be the one person no, that says true, true, hits a nerve, and that's true. But yeah, when yeah. you open yeah. up your computer and you see a thousand people saying something negative about you or mm. your family or your kids, my nigga, that shit could be. Very, very, very powerful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I accept- See, and I used to chalk that up to a person not being built like that. Like, like you're you're weaker. If, Everybody if, not built like that. Correct. I, again, this is shit that I had to learn. I think the trolls come from a generation where you're not getting punched in your face. I say it all the time. A nah, good still stops face. all that shit. That ain't do shit. I got punched. In the you ain't get punched enough, and you ain't get punched by the right nigga. I got you would have got punched by the right nigga. You stopped trolling. Or if you knew every day when you went to school the the consequences of your actions could lead to a punch in the face, you stop that shit. And I mean, I wanna I just wanna bring this back to Walmart. I mean, it, it hit me because everybody has stopped at that Walmart. Mm-hmm. We've stopped it on tour. Yeah. Like, that's when you need a break, Chesapeake. <laughs> yeah. That's when you pull in and do your shit. So I mean it that hit me number one and two. Unimaginable. Death is just so instantaneous. Mm-hmm. Like when you're alive, you'd be thinking about what you would do in the moment, and oh, if I'm like that, shit happens so suddenly. Mm-hmm. That's the part that you got to really get okay with life to be certain that you'll be okay in that moment of death. You ain't no time to think. Or you can't script some of this stuff. The fucking we going to the supermarket in Buffalo, right? We going to the club over here. Mm-hmm. We going to you can't you can't predict it. And then on to that part, right? Is this guy the the the? Oh, and it's just not putting mics in front of people too. Word. <laughs> this is the dad, father of 
The Club Q gunman speaks out. Like we wanted to hear from him. Didn't want to hear from him. But once I heard from him, oh, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Now I get it. See, I don't be wanting to get it. Word. Word. You I, wanna, I don't be wanting to get it. you want to have some grace or some understanding, even in, even when they do certain shit. Again, because we, you know, we compassionate. The, the father was more, the father was just so satisfied that the son wasn't gay. Wasn't gay. Mm -hmm. That's some sick shit, yo. I was like, Shh. no, your son He was more concerned with that than his son murdering people. Or, but okay. That's crazy. You know, there were multiple people. Right. And then I'd go on, they were on going to find it to the gay bar. Yeah, right. And, uh, and I was like, oh my God, is he gay? As a scare, I was like, oh my God, shit, is he gay? And he's not gay, so it's like this. I don't even want to hear this nigga. I don't want to hear you nigga. Your voice ain't even attractive. <laughs> yeah, you don't even work. sound like. Scagged up. He mm -hmm. sounded like a nut. Yeah. Looked and sounded like a nut. Mm -hmm. He yeah. definitely did. News 8, huh? News 8 when found him. But now, if think about Where'd that. Where'd they find him at? Think about that, though. You never know what that boy was dealing with at home. Listen to his father it's, it's speak. Conditioning. You, you know what I'm saying? He might have been getting his ass whipped at home. And enough is enough. We reach a breaking point and, you know, you go out and do some wild shit. I think I liked it better when only the politicians used fear as a thing. Now for mm -hmm. them to just ingratiate it in your everyday normal society is a mm -hmm. mess. It's a mess. It is. Rest in peace to the people that lost their lives. Word. Mm -hmm. yeah. On, on, on it, Thanksgiving it, week. Word. Yeah. That's crazy, B. Just living their life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me cue up some music. Yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yep. they just went to work that day or went to the club that day. Bro. To have something fun. that we've all done a million times. Right. You know what I mean? NBA Youngboy went on a nice little rant. About somebody leaking that record that he did with Quando Rondo, and how he's been on a stop the violence run, and nobody's been highlighting that, mm. and he knows who's behind it and who's fucking around with him, and stop fucking with him. He's about peace and getting this money, and interesting that that's the picture y'all want to portray. Y'all want us to kill each other out here. I they, was glad to hear that. Yeah, I was about to say they're gonna have a, they're gonna have a tough time. I was glad to hear when that. these young boys start becoming more aware of they shit. Shout out to NBA Youngboy for that, man. All right. All right. That was fly about Rowdy's girl buying that villa, though. That is fly. Like, we done, with the, bro yeah. we done with the brokies. I I've been telling fellas for the longest, leave these brokies. Bro, you just fucking ridiculed me last week because I said I'm done with the Honda and the no, no, Civic no. and the Accord <laughs> girls. Hey, y'all went crazy with that CLA, too. They can't. There's a few y'all went a little crazy with out there. That CLA hit the streets. Boy, y'all didn't know how to act. I seen it. My own two eyes. Oh, my God, Joe. What? <laughs> they can't have a CLA either? That shit is dope, Joe. It's a quality automobile. It's a dope car. Hey, do what you want. Do it what looks you, nice. Hey, Digital Underground said do what you like. <laughs> do what you like. I'm not here to step on nobody's joy. Oh my God. Whatever brings you joy in life, do that shit. You are I'm, stepping on their joy, Anita Baker. What do you mean? If a girl just came on the scene with her little CLA, she... Shitting on him. <laughs> oh, uh. Do your thing. Uh. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. <laughs> you shoot, I'm totally you shoot fine fly with that. to CLA. Shoot fly. I don't have nothing in music. The girl called me Jolisha. That's all I got in music. I saw that. Whatever else happened, I don't know. Jolisha? Yeah. Jolisha, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got a new nickname. She Happy said, for you. I said you were sassy. She needed a ghost, a ghost tweeter. She needed somebody to help got that better. Yeah, she could have killed me a little bit of that. <laughs> and maybe to shut the fuck up was a bit harsh. I just didn't have time for it that day. It was a bad young, time. You're a young woman. You need to say shut the fuck up to the girl. But the point still stands. It was a bad time. The point still stands. Mm -hmm. Bad, bad time. Somebody died. We can promote the mixtape at another time. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have no problem with you, Alicia. I'm not going in a back, a back and forth internet battle with this young woman. I think that's tacky and horrible. It is. Yeah, I think that's corner? disgusting. Yeah, don't, don't, we wouldn't let you do that one, bro. That's nasty. That's, that's nasty. nasty. Come on. Come on. Oh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't even have to stop you. You wouldn't do that. That's what I'm saying. That one. You're not doing that. <laughs> You're not going to do that. But, yo, um, you mentioned the CLA. Did you hear what Mercedes doing with their with they new cars? I wasn't done with my sweetie news. Oh, my so. fault. Yeah. Rock out. No, rock out. I didn't know you won. What else happened in the sweetie universe? Well, because then Vlad went off. 
Then Vlad went off because he was trying to get a Sweetie interview and allegedly her people turned it down. So he was mocking her selling 2,000 copies and said that if she did an interview with him, she would have done 10x that. Vlad, who the fuck do you think you are? I'm telling you, this, oh, I got a rant. Come one day, I'm, I'm going to start coming here and telling the truth one day. I got to, actually, yeah. Yeah, come I'm, tell the truth. Buddy. I'm talking to Parks and Erickson. I'm going to talk to y'all too after work. If y'all can come in a little earlier, I'm going to start giving them 30 minutes of the truth. <laughs> okay. Honestly. There's a new Patreon tier, the truth. No, I'm just going to put that out. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, ain't need to, I don't need to monetize off the truth. I just need to tell the truth. <laughs> just need, need to hear it. It's a fucking Vlad. Oh, my God. Yeah, she man. just sold more. Stop it. Yeah, man. Adam was a little busy. There we go. A little something. There we go. Give it to he me. He ain't want to get busy, though. Adam, <laughs> Adam texted me that clip. <laughs> this is how disillusioned white people are. He said what? <laughs> Nothing. He just sent it to you. Yeah. He wanted you to reply. And say what? He wanted me to see it. He might have been proud of that. Even the way it went out. He yeah, might have been proud of that. He captured it like, and this happened. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, oh. pinned the tweet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and guess what? I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say about it. Ain't nothing to say. No, it's a lot to say. No, no, it ain't. I ain't going to say already, it. Already Y'all Y'all learned me. Y'all see it. Y'all yeah, got they, it. They got it. Yeah. Y'all got ain't it. Ain't nothing to say no more. But no, nah, and in real time, you saw that motherfucker. <laughs> Look like he ain't never been around a fight in his got, life. Got there pretty quick. If that, yeah. was, if, that, if that was alarming to you, then you missed the undertone, undertone in my original argument in the first place. Mm. The, he, that's the point. No, if that scares you, that <laughs> right there. That, yeah. that right there scared the shit out of you. Yeah. In real time, you couldn't hide it. That was your response and that was your reaction. That scared you. Imagine when a nigga pull a gun out. If somebody getting punched in the face scared the shit out of him. And that's why I don't compare like media actions to the participants in this lifestyle. When you participate in the lifestyle, you oath to certain things. Like that's just the script. So if the fight break out, you kinda cool. You know how to act. The shootout break out, you don't. That's just the lifestyle here. But if you don't really want to be around none of that, then nigga act like you don't want to be around none of that. Fact. Because if that was the fight that made you like that, this ain't for you. That was nothing. If that, that was the fight, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't honest, even a fight. Being honest. You could have stopped that one pretty that, easy. That, that wasn't for neither one of them. <laughs> that wasn't for him or the dude that got punched on because he ain't know what was going on Duh, either. The dude Duh. that punched Duh. him didn't even really want to punch. He like, yo, I ain't even want to do this. Because he got off from rather easily. Well, I don't easily. believe in that either. I don't believe in that either. What? That whole shit is a mess. What you mean? That, that dude, they, them two dudes. First of all, like I say on here all the time, who are they? Mm. Y'all had no clue. The that internet. One. The internet do that. Guess who Joe don't care about? These two. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all make everybody somebody. No, no. But, no, that, that, but that's the attraction no, to the Adams no, and the I'm, But I'm talking about Joseph Anthony Button oh. Jr., I remember being eight years old in a Harlem hairdresser with my mom and Bud from the Cosby Show walking in. Hysteria in there. Mm -hmm. Hysteria in there. Yo, find a pen. Yo, come on, yo. You play as Bud. Mm -hmm. Know why? Bud did something. <laughs> he did something. He was on the show. I seen that nigga. <laughs> I want to get whatever. Give me something so I can say mm -hmm. I seen Bud. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck are these niggas? Some niggas that Adam just put on a thingamajig, but fuck, listen, I got way more to go than that. Forget about that part. But younger niggas might know who they are. True. So what? I'm just saying. I don't care. I don't care. You I'm only, I said, I'm talking about Joseph Anthony Button. Okay. I don't care who know these niggas. They could have a million view, two million views somewhere. Ain't me. Ain't for me. Now, that would have never happened to you. <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine that a situation never where Ice gets up and no, starts beating happen. on someone. No, that wouldn't happen here. Hey, we don't interject and stop. First off, it looked like nobody knew how to ever been in this situation. Yeah. You could spot what was happening from the minute he said, hold on, what'd you call me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Oh, I was saying to you, uh, I don't, I'm not agreeing with what you're saying because he's had those dudes on him before. They didn't like that dude. They argued last time. Oh. So now y'all have brought this dude oh. back that the whole room hate. Mm. Everybody hate this dude. What you do? The dude that got beat up. Okay. Uh. 
This is their set. That there was an energy there already. Mm. See, I didn't know any of that. I didn't know that either. Exactly. That's even. So now okay. this dude gets up and spits on this dude. This is not the first. That's a thing now over there. The spitting, spitting on, on people. That's a thing now. They're trying to make it a thing. A couple people got spit on on that show. Yeah. Yes. I'm seeing. Oh no. Nah, where they get up and they spit on somebody and a fight almost breaks out. Adam don't what? never be there. This is the first time Adam was there. Somebody got up, spit on somebody, and just started punching on somebody. Now, here's Joe's unpopular take. Civilian take. I hope he sue everybody involved. I hope that nigga sue the network, Adam, and the other nigga that did it. Sue them all. They're going to teach y'all about why certain content is just, they gonna show, the blog's going to show you why they putting little clauses on the shit. They're going to learn y'all. Y'all keep doing shit in the name of content. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Got a point. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the lawsuit, but. I am. That's how, you, that's how they, today, I that's am. How, today that's how I they am, because what's the alternative? Stop, it, is stop, that, stop calling people bitches. That's content. No, it's not. That's the, that we just, hold up. We just talked about the, the trolls. Uh-huh. Antoine, when, I'm not talking about our 50-year-old opinions. I'm talking about what they doing. What they are mean? they are calling each other bitch and spitting on people and doing and pulling out guns during interviews mm -hmm. for content. Saw that. Yes. Lawsuit time. That's how you look. Tasha learn. K said whatever she said in the name of content. Mm -hmm. Cardi B took the stand in the name of non-content mm -hmm. and said, I lost money, I've, I'm depressed, I've lost sleep, I can't function, she got to pay. There's a reason why even if you capture a fight like that, you probably would not want to put it out. Put it mm -hmm. out. There, are, there are ramifications mm -hmm. outside of the dude that got beat up. Y you say, I'm agreeing with you, but I'm talking about the dude that was calling the bitch. Uh-huh. You got to stand on getting punched in the face. You say the wrong shit out oh. your mouth, you get popped on. Yeah, but it now don't need as, to be filmed. I'm not. It don't need to be released. And it don't need, need, to, be and it don't need, and it don't need the, to be released. The release and is ugly. I don't know how old that kid is, but that kid is a kid. He's a kid. Mm -hmm. That kid is a kid. Mm -hmm. he, it shouldn't have got released. Hey, and a, I, ain't, a, I ain't ridiculing. Hey, Wild Wild West. Royal Rumble. I love the Royal Rumbles. Everybody go do anything you want to do in the name of content. I'm going to sit here in this little auntie robe <laughs> and some sweats, some different footwear next time and just chill and sip my little tea and watch. You niggas is losing your mind in the name of content. Nah, the release yeah. was ugly. The release was ugly, but I'm sure the numbers is crazy. Yeah, that's the world they live in. I'm the, sure the numbers are anything, insane. Anything for the numbers. On that. So if the numbers are insane or if me getting punched in the face, my number's about to be insane. No, no, no. The numbers ain't as insane off of you getting punched in the face. The numbers are insane over another nigga getting punched in the face. The person that's capitalizing didn't get punched in the face. Some other cronies did it. Oh, if somebody getting punched in the face. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody else came on his show and, yeah. and got punched. Mm -hmm. it, it went crazy viral. And he going to just sit back and ching, 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 you know what I mean? And run it up. And I hate to tell you, he have them same two niggas there next week to see if the other nigga want to get a steal off first. I wish I had competent business people around me when I got punched in the face the first time. <laughs> Tuh. Sure. sure. Tuh. Rock what bell? I'm going to show you how to rock a bell. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we both got our bells rocked. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but they went out of business anyway. My God don't play about me. Ding, ding, ding. Out of been My God don't play about me, bitch ass niggas. <laughs> anyway, Stupid. it's always up with me. <laughs> it's always up with me for life. <laughs> oh. Uh, what was we just talking about? Adam 22. Yeah, talking about that. Yeah, sue the fucking pants off him. That should have been broken up. I told Ish to, uh, man, I told Ish so to get up and figure a fight with me. You won't do it. I will, I will not do it. <laughs> that's just, but that's just people that don't know those situations. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. You, you know like, He's right. Ice is you right. You just don't know. And when you say certain shit, dog, you cross the gun line and... Not gun, literally, I'm just using it yeah, figuratively. Yeah, yeah. But when you say certain shit, being from where we from, mm -hmm. we know like, yo, it could go left right here. At and that point, what's that, the shit they be doing on Instagram? At that point, it's well, a little look, saying, they be like, at that point, such hey, and such. Hey, ish. Not only do we know it could go left at any point, we know when the nigga sat up and said, who you talking no, to? No, what you say? What you said? It's now going left. Yeah. 
The signal been on. The wheel is turning. <laughs> the light just turned green. We going left now. He repeated it. My man stood up. He wasn't sitting right here. He stood up and got over there to you. You still don't know what's going on. Yeah. He'd had a long day. Who? The punchy didn't even think it was going to happen. That's what I'm saying, though. The punchy. He Nobody in that room was prepared, like, ain't been in them situations before. He's not from, yeah. That's what it is. The, it's like situ- when, Karen, situation when Karen and awareness. them be cursing people out, calling you all them names, and you be like, bop, and they be like, why'd you hit me? They don't know. <laughs> you said some shit that it, it, you crossed the line right there. And when a nigga got up and when and he came over there you, to you, said, you, bitch. you still, when he got up, you stayed seated. Okay, you, you have no idea what's going True. on at this point. You're you're like a deer in headlights. Everybody in that room was a deer in headlights. Shana got up. He, Peter got up and aired that whole shit out. I wonder what the conversation would be like today. Stop the violence and and which one? Peter, the, the one the that punchy. got punched on. The, got punched no, the one that got punchy. punched on. The punchy. Peter got up and aired that whole shit out. Mm. I'd love to see what the conversation was going to be. Of course not, because I don't want that to happen. To of course not. But of course. that would have been interesting. But that is how that happens. Absolutely, mm-hmm. that's how it. One hundred percent. I don't think Adam plans on relocating his brand new studio. Either. That part. <laughs> like, you niggas, yo. You niggas that ain't never been around nothing nowhere. That's, that's what it is. Yo, anytime, if you've ever been close enough, I'll give you Redditor's Jewel. <laughs> Fucking losers. If you've ever been close enough to hear an intense argument between the street niggas trying to get in this club or the strip club and the security of the club <laughs> or the strip club, then certain things you know because you've overheard them. The most important one being, my brother, you work here. You will be here. You have to be here. Four to five nights a week. I'm going to come here and spray this entire shit up when you're getting off. Anime moving that studio? Mm-hmm. It costs to do these things that y'all want to do. That's why I'm saying lawsuit. I ain't really with it either. Clearly, I ain't do it. But... Some of this shit got prices on it, is all I'm saying. Y'all gonna learn it in name of content. I j- we, can, we can wrap it up. Because I- it's wrapped. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's wrapped. Somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody nephew. nephew. It's wrapped. Mm hmm. Somebody nephew and cousin. Nastiness. Mm-hmm. Niggas wouldn't have been able to get me off that dude. After you did that, you start punching on me. This fight gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this. He's, he put him to sleep. That's because he don't know how to fight. That's because he didn't have awareness. He didn't think he, he was going to get stole. Yes. And he still didn't know the bike. <laughs> yeah. You got him? Yeah, that too. He didn't know how to do nothing. He didn't know how to do nothing. He was like that. That dude would have been in the air. <laughs> Wait. That dude would have been in scooped. the air. He would have been scooped. In the air. Scooped. That's your only defense. Who mm-hmm. was to scoop him? I'd have been on, oh man, he did that floor. I'd have been on top of him like the icing on the eclair. <laughs> <laughs> with, um, the little, with the little, yeah. with the little, with the things on the eclair. Sprinkle? Yeah, the, the little cookie bite. Yeah, all yeah. that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm mad they got rid of E-Clears. Did they? No. Where you see E-Clear? You can get them. The bakery. So, y'all see shit in Newark that ain't in real life. <laughs> <laughs> y'all should leave Newark sometimes. <laughs> now I'm in the street. Niggas see me. What up, Joe? I'm a Newark boy. I'm like, yeah, dog. Yeah, nigga. He told me. <laughs> I'm a Newark boy. He told me. He's like, yo, I just ran into Joe. I he, he told one, me. Look, it ain't before of him. <laughs> he told me you, you think Hell, you your think, little small you circle think you, think, you think it's only four please all the real Newark niggas in jail already it's just y'all out okay. it's just y'all now Hey, I'll be it's just y'all man. now Whatever. all the real niggas went up already now we left with ice and ice wanna stay a non-real nigga that's what it mean being real too <laughs> fuck you talking unreal? about unreal you wanna be unreal unreal <laughs> unreal. unreal me oh man I wanna stay oh, he said go up north I wanna stay down south then <laughs> Come on, what else is important I was trying or, to tell you about, or unimportant? I was trying to tell you about this bullshit Mercedes is doing with their new oh, cars. Yeah, put us on. What Mercedes and Wallow doing, man? <laughs> so now, to, to reach the max performance uh, settings in the vehicle, you got to pay $1,200 a month. Oh, yeah, the subscription. They're locking that behind subscription. Yeah, they right? subscribing so, everything, boy. When you say max, so, you know, like, they, let's say they advertise a car with a zero to 60 in four seconds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your Mercedes can't do that. Yours might be seven seconds or something. If you to hit that max performance, the max speed, all that, but unlock the governors features, and shit, you got to pay them twelve hundred dollars a month. I mean, twelve hundred dollars a year on on like directly to Mercedes. It's a subscription. Like now, they saying that the business is so bad they got to find ways to make money from consumers directly. One of the biggest car dealers in the world got to find another way. 
to get some more spanking. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's, it's all fucked up, dog. It's all fucked up. You'll pay for that? Yeah. And that's what they banked on. Like, if you buy buying a Mercedes. I didn't hear what was being said, but I know if there's an option in the future that enables you more options if you pay a monthly subscription, I'm not opposed to it. This is going to be norm in yeah. Uh, yeah. across the board so they said once uh, BMW has started with the heat they're not seats, gonna see all these streamers oh well, yeah see all these streamers making money like this and not figure out a way to stream some shit mm-hmm. especially in a car especially today the way these cars are all computers like we could just press a button mm-hmm. uh huh we could yeah and it's gonna just eat, get m- more and more crazy because now everything's going electric mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. even more computer more computer mm-hmm even more yeah, computer. Even more paranoia. What that, y'all gonna do when the, when the smart stuff get too smart? That part. And lock your well, dumbass in the car. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. happened before. They wiped that under the rug, but. It was a, it was a Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, it was a you Tesla. You fucking right, it locked you right mm-hmm. in there. Locked you in the car. You lying. I am not. Can't even hide your shit from repo no more. <laughs> that should just take itself back. <laughs> nigga, the whole car, the whole car's chipped. Yeah, it ain't no hiding it over here. And this person's back. No, nigga, we know where it's at. That should drive itself, bro. Just take, yeah, it, yeah, take yourself back. Come home. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it's like the home button on the Roomba. It's a, it's a good point for y'all. Why? It's gonna, it's gonna be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that battery dead. <laughs> no, 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 you're no, you bill. Miss, you missing? <laughs> you missing what he said? <laughs> yeah. They man. stole my car out the driveway. What the fuck are you talking about? They can have that shit at the chop shop in a matter of four hours. That chip gonna be right on the floor in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> or it's in the port. Oh shit, they go my car in London. <laughs> they on my car. Oh shit, they go my they go my car right over my there. Shit in Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Go get it. Good luck with your chip. You right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always laugh at that. This is not funny, so don't laugh with me. I always laugh at that when like <laughs> when the girlies when the when the girlies try to keep each other safe, they're talking about <laughs> when she on a date. I'm like, oh, I, I got my friend's location. Like, oh. <laughs> hey, yo, get out of there. Get out of there, bro. Hey, well, get out of there. Well, I'm just saying. Hey, get oh, out no, of there. Because talk, <laughs> no, because this talk can save a life. This talk can save a life. All right, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Let's think it through. You trying to warn them, Ish. God. You on the date <laughs> in Long Island. <laughs> your own girl in Newark got your location. It sees suspicious activity. <laughs> now what? She know where to send the police. <laughs> oh That's what God. they say. Any, that, yeah, yo, motherfuckers vanish. At least this way we know where to start the I search. I know where at. to start the search. Yeah, motherfuckers literally vanish. Yo, we don't know where she. We don't know what happened. Where she went. See, and that's she why she got in a car with this nigga. That's Amy. why I love. I love women. She was with Keith Johnson. I am not giving my friend my location to find my body. Are you shitting me? Hey, listen, bitch. If you don't drive over here fast and run some lights, what she goes? Nah, you better do nah, something. Nah, you had to have a friend in the area. Nah, you should have made a phone call. This nigga, bro, I don't. I'm I had a lo- joke. Lo- I don't even tell you, my joke. Y'all are horrible. I'm anyway. not gonna tell my joke. Yo, go ahead. In a bad time, Uncle Potter. Come on. But all right, now we'll get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> all right, part of the show. We have got Diamond. What's up, Diamond? With a long, just a slew of questions, actually. Okay. Question number one: What is the poorest thing that you still do today? Hmm. Walk. <sighs> <laughs> I don't walk. That shit is poor. Yeah, I don't walk. Oodles and noodles is another one. For Facts. Me. Yeah, that's, never, not, that's not going. Never that stopping. ain't never. I don't care what I make. Never stopping. That's never going. Nowhere. I'm t- I still use um, plasticware. Mm. Swanson. I, I still, cl- I still clean. don't have a microphone. So I still clean my own house. He's saying, and I've headphones. I'm, I'm trying to get out of that. I'm actually looking for a cleaner person. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah we enough used, of that. We used to record in there. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, um, that's poor. Yeah, uh, well, I'm yeah, poor. Yeah, I clean my poor. own house, man. That's poor. I don't have a cleaning person for my crib. If mom chef up some sardines, I'm eating that too. We eat them shits. If mom chef them up, she jazz them up. That shit was fancy tuna in my house. <laughs> 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 Crab legs. I get it. Some of y'all, those are the carnivores of the sea. What's the word? Sea roaches. Yeah, yeah well, all of that. That's that shrimp. That's shrimp. Yeah, that's yeah. what, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm eating all that, though. That shit's good. No, they say it's crabs, too. All of it. All of it? 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Guess, guess what? Lobster. Sign me up. Sure yeah. It's good. Sign me up, buddy. Yeah. And some red lobster biscuits. Maybe I would eat a roach. I don't know. Oh, that's some poor shit. That's I'm some poor there. shit right there. Red I'm, still, I'm still in there. Red lobster biscuits and the old school chicken fingers. Uh, I'm in there. Seaside Ru- Shrimp Trio. Oh, uh, I, I, I fuck feast. with that. I'm Chris is poor to me now, too. Nick. <laughs> I leveled up. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. All right, Manolo Rose. I'm out of here. I don't want to be surrounded, but I can spot white poor, too. <laughs> Ruth Chris ain't white poor, yo. There's some white poor, some poor whites in there. There's some poor whites in there. Ruth Chris ain't poor. I'm just not poor. But it's cool. Yo, I'm it's, speaking your level of I'm poor speaking, might yeah, be yeah, different. Yeah, you don't yeah, wear yeah. Nikes. Yeah. You just shot that by, like, yeah, in my one pair of Air Force Ones I buy a year. <laughs> Doing my some. debt to society. I put jeans on other And his Air, Air Force, yo, his Air Force Ones is supreme. You don't need wear the regular ones. You did buy supreme. Jeans is poor. Damn. <laughs> God damn. It's two thousand dollar jeans. Those are not poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y'all jeans. Y'all jeans is poor. <laughs> right. My everything is poor. <laughs> yeah, this guy set us up. I'm done. Go ahead. What else? Cereal. Huh? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Another one. Cereal's poor? <laughs> yeah. Yo, this guy is whole milk is some dirt bag shit. <laughs> Wait, why? Disgusting. It's nasty. You don't drink whole milk no more? Not really. You drink, I don't drink whole milk. I don't drink milk. I don't really drink, don't milk, drink milk no milk more either. like that. That's poor. Proud of you, bro. It's poor. No, I'm proud of you. I don't drink it because it's poor, but I don't, I don't drink whole milk. Being fly with your brothers and sisters? <laughs> it's poor. Why you was in the same room with them? Why you was close enough to be close to them? <laughs> What? He supposed to be in the other wing? Somewhere else, nigga. Why you so fly with your brothers and sisters, nigga? Yeah, y'all was poor. Nigga, he had bunk beds. You was on the top. You peed I on don't really, I know that. <laughs> I know hip hop, man. I, there's a few <laughs> things stupid. that, you know, hip hop has a tendency to make some, certain shit sound cool. All of it. <laughs> Listen to me. I don't care how fly the song was. The second they start talking about nine of them being in the same bed, feet to head, eating roaches in the cereal, I fast forward right through that part of all that I got is you. Nah, that's Especially a little 15 second skip. <laughs> I don't want to see ghost face like that. <laughs> that was poor. Oh, no, you see that. <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> poor. I'm wrong. Well, I'm, I'm with you on why, that. Why, yeah, you scared, why you scared to take care of a life? Because <laughs> you poor. <laughs> That's the <You're> poor. <laughs> what else is poor? <laughs> Come on, I like this song. <laughs> this is good. Who hookah is poor? S- somebody wrote hookah is poor shit. Hookah might be poor now. They jack the prices up, but I mean, still, <laughs> it's still poor. You gotta get the pineapple on your joint. It's poor. Nah, a little sixty dollar chumpy to make it not be poor. <laughs> smoke some weed, man. Yo, I be in house laughing. This shit. Niggas used to smoke cigarettes on the airplane. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Word. <laughs> And it right to, next to you ashtrays. at your table, that is disgusting. There used to be yeah. ashtrays in yeah, the built airplane. Into yeah, the fucking yeah. Yeah. It still is if you take the, the right the right <laughs> flight. <laughs> it's still got the ashtray still stinking around. That's poor. That's <laughs> get poor. off your poor. Parks, get off your poor, poor plane. Don't that even is. do the airport shit, yo, yo, you two. What? You, nah, because y'all do y'all do be bougie yo, about the airport. Yo, these two? Yeah. Yeah. The airport lets you know what type of time it is in the town. I'm just about the plane shit, period, when y'all get on y'all true. bougie shit. That's true. The airport lets you know That's true. how the city thinks of you. That's true. Some of y'all got real poor airports and poor baggage claims. I feel so bad standing there with y'all. I, I don't want to stand y'all. there. Yo, can we just get all this shit out the way? I don't want to stand there with some of y'all at baggage claims. I don't. <laughs> I go hide. Like, sometimes smoking saves you. I run right out to so go smoke. Go get a private jet then, nigga. Well, I'm not there. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't. Yo, have you that, are the dude that when that you get the private jet, you gonna diss everybody else. He's that's gonna shit on uh, Emirates. I don't have that type of disposable income. Uh, yeah, but some of them people that be at the baggage claim and some of y'all bags, <laughs> poor. Mm. It's poor. Some of y'all bags. It's poor. Bro. Mine shouldn't come out with y'all. What? 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 What kind of luggage you got? Huh? What kind of luggage you got? Uh, which one? <laughs> it's mainly to me. It's mainly to me, to me. I let Louis fool me with a duffel, but it's mainly to me. It's nice. What you got? Samsonite. Bitch ass nigga. What did you say? What you bitch ass nigga. Samsonite. <laughs> That's that shit Black Panther made of. <laughs> what, is, what the fuck is he talking about? 
Yo, stop aging this fucking podcast. I'm a Samsonite. Nobody even has that version. Yo. Samsonite. That's, Yo. What, no, that's what Noma's. What's his name? New, Neymar. That's what Neymar had. <laughs> Nigga was made of some Samsonite. I, <laughs> what is Samsonite? Well, y'all are poor. Yeah. I'm a fire, yeah, y'all. I know. Okay, we, we poor, yo. Oh, y'all get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. That's funny. I still use, oh, if uh, I would have known y'all was poor like that, I would I still put 87 in the car. <laughs> but you got an older car. <laughs> like, I'm going to try to bail my man out. You got an older car. I know you're not putting regular in your car. No. Oh, okay. Tell the people how much money you make. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck no. You shouldn't have that car. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that's period. <laughs> that was it. it wasn't an ongoing. That's the thought. Uh, you huh? shouldn't have that car. I just asked Ian about that this morning. Mm. You got to get out of there. I'm judging you. Yeah, whatever. Man, judge. When you get that $2 million, you know what I mean, with the pool in the back with the half, two and a half acres? No, get a new Max. <laughs> get, the, get a new version get of the one that you have. I ain't telling you to go get a Rolls. <laughs> Get the new fucking Kia or some something. He, he good, yo. Yeah, his car still work. Uh, it, I know it's, it's real easy for that car to work when we work at his house. Now, <laughs> now, now you gonna get a now, test. Now it's gonna hey, be a test. Now how many miles is this? Seventeen. I know math. Seventeen. <laughs> Thirty-four. <laughs> Thirty-four. Time, to one. 34. <laughs> you start adding up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. At okay. some point, the car just start doing its own thing at around one hundred eighty. Yeah. Two hundred thousand miles. Yo, you miles. getting the car start having to wreck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that, That's when you'll go get one I was riding the other day I could feel me having Hadn't changed the oil In a year and a half I was like, mm. I'm gonna blow up That's such a Joe way to go In the fucking Maybach that is yeah, a, you hear this That's thing? a Joe way to go oil oil Clock Maybach. this nigga With this phone so bad <laughs> Why? That car's too expensive To not change the oil in. I'm, I gotta be me <laughs> I'm me still I'm he not you He hasn't put I'm not you miles on the car yet Yo No no It's 3,500 miles you don't have to change it every 3,000. ain't a Honda. I'm waiting for the old boy to come back. I, it's really just there for him now. <laughs> oh, come on, come back and try to get in that car. It's a little bait. That's I know I'm sick. My mom it's gave like me the, the perfect car. solution. What? I got a garage. Over here. Yo. <laughs> Over here. Move the car. If you're not worried, move the car. No, it's no. no. Yeah, uh, no, I'm putting no, another I'm not, car I'm out there. For him. Get car. your ass back over here. <laughs> I'm not yo. moving the car. This guy is stupid. Yo. But if I have the garage, I'm putting the very expensive car in the garage. Nope. nope. The garage is full of water. The bar's the garage, garage, whatever the and fuck I want. The, the garage could be empty. And some water. I'm and not some, moving yeah, my car. You know I mean? Fuck you. Bar's Come. get rid of that fucking car. I'm man. working no, on it. I'm I'm actually, I've actually playing. been shopping. Did you? Oh. All right. Let me hit Oh. Now, man. Look, look, look. What are we looking at? Yeah, what are we looking at? I might do like a little five series. You too tall for a five series. Yeah, Emma? Yeah, absolutely. You can't do a five. We'll see. Can't. No, don't tell him that. <laughs> you got to go through the Charlie bumps Horse. and you got to go Charlie the, Horse You got to make the mistakes. <laughs> Park walking here like you got to make the mistakes. Come here, Charlie Horse out for the five series. Nah, that little awesome. He go get the five nice. series. I'm gonna meet him downstairs every every time. We, every time we <laughs> get some recording. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, more uh, que more questions from uh, this guy. Hold Diamond. Up. Where did he go? Diamond. Weird. I'm not calling a nigga Diamond. I was about to say, yo, it's a dude named Diamond. You got to fix that, homie. What the hell is this? Maybe he's a stripper. Yeah, I'm, I'm bumping into more and more male escorts. Pause. How'd you bump into them? <laughs> <laughs> See, they laughing. I wasn't even. <laughs> no. no, I say these things for y'all to laugh. You know what I mean? Uh, question number two. If you could switch places with anyone in the crew, who would it be? And why? Who would it be and why? Uh... I go with Parks. I go with Parks. I still want to be have music in my veins, so mm. that's the most important thing for me. So I'm going with Parks. Little 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 white don't hurt neither. <laughs> that's why I was that. going with Parks. Uh, that's know. what I was saying. <laughs> I did not. I was just trying white to don't hurt. Yeah, I man. wanted the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely Parks. That's apparent. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we learn things about y'all yeah, through, through this gig. I'll take through it. this gig we have. That's All right, so you pick Parks too. No, Parks yeah, too. Yeah, I'm taking the privilege. Yeah, ish. Crazy. You already halfway got the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> so what else you want? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> that's why they think I'm half white. You know, listen to this fool. <laughs> that's why. Mm -hmm. um, Nobody batted an eye when you came in for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> it wasn't an uncomfortable conversation to have or nothing. <laughs> 
Erickson probably. I don't gotta do shit. What? Shit. <laughs> Not like that. Wait, Pardon what? me, E A E, you my guy. Hey, you know what I mean? He's my wait, man. Wow, that's crazy. Nah. You choose Erickson because you don't have to do shit. Right. Now, like, not like that. Like, then, like what? E, e chilling. He don't, you know, he beat his own. Drum. He got a I lot don't of know shit what that to do. Means. He's not chilling. <laughs> he ain't chilling no, at all. He beats to his own drum. No. No. Hey, wait, whatever. whatever. It's, your, it's your pick, buddy. <laughs> you might need to sit <laughs> back there with one. It's your pick. I'm taking jokes. He's the richest. Damn. <laughs> oh, no, Parksy. No one wants to be ice. Damn. <laughs> no. Or is nobody picked this shit? Nobody uh, want to be me. Want to be these yeah. niggas? You hear these hip hop opinions? <laughs> <laughs> nobody want to hear that, that shit every day. Uh, each of you give something embarrassing about you that no one knows. <laughs> No, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. Nobody knows. <laughs> we are, we are unpacking that on Patreon. You, you niggas with this, right? <laughs> you you so, give you give one. He do it all the time. I, I'm, but why y'all so guarded? It's not guarded. It's just uh, no guarded. Nigga. You could tell them something embarrassing about yourselves. The key is that nobody knows. So if nobody knows, it's for a reason. Well, think of think a new one that nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nigga, no. <laughs> That's my point. No. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a little something, man. Hey, every morning I'm reminded harder and harder to go get one of them nose hair trimmer thing of majiggies. Oh, yeah. I don't even really look in the mirror now when I'm brushing my <laughs> teeth. I feel bad. Because I used to judge my grandpa when he was in there. I used to be like, damn, nigga, hold on here, your nose. Nah, I just now, tuck, I tuck my shits now. Now. <laughs> I tuck my choice. <laughs> now. Till I get to the. Yeah, I'll talk them. Trim your, trim your nose hairs, guys. I got them, but you don't be thinking about that shit all the time. Sometimes shower, you go outside and you forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why I don't fuck with him. What? Don't piggyback my embarrassing shit that nobody ever knows about. Let me piggyback off yours. Mine ain't embarrassing. That's not embarrassing to me, nigga. Well, think of one like that. I got another one that's real bad, but I mean, I don't know if I'm giving them all that. Oh, okay. Sometimes you got to sit up when you're jerking off. <laughs> Yo, you're the best potter on the planet, bro. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Tell me why, though. <laughs> I would love to hear why. <laughs> you old enough to remember Notch Landing? <laughs> I was completely lost. There we go. How about you, gentlemen? <laughs> See, I'm the man. I'm the man. You're, the, you're the best, No bro. problem, You are, you are the what, best. Because what are they going to do? They ain't deal me when I'm jerking off. Nigga, I scoot up like this. <laughs> Cause I've been like this before, and I've been like this before. Uh, <laughs> it's just bad. You, you the best, bro. It don't taste the worst though. Oh, I'm man. sick. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't hear what he said? No, I don't want to. You, you lie. I am. I'm cool. You're, you're the best powder oh, on the planet. Oh, please. The, the women love that shit, boy. They, they take a picture of it. And by they, I mean her. <laughs> you hit the friends. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yo, you can't shame me out of nothing that I know for a fact the women love. So you can't shame me out of that. They like a little show. Women like a lot of shit. They, they like a little. <laughs> what? These women like a lot of shit. Oh, come on, man, manly man. Come I'm on, good. come I, on. I'm not what are you implying, that. manly man? Yeah, fam. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at parks. Y'all just. Ashamed me for my car, so I mean, I, I did not, not do anything nah, that of the shit sort. Was trash. <laughs> it's got to go. Uh, I don't know. He spent uh, he spent the spanky on a wedding. Best potters in the world. All right. <laughs> wow. Well, moving right. right along. Out of that mess. Out of that mess. All right. Yep. Glad we could help you, uh, dude. <laughs> diamond, diamond. No, I'm not going to diamond. <laughs> Glad we could help. That Duke, was like, Duke I thought we had another question. That was I'm double job. Oh, 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 you did no. so great on that one. I think right. we aced the test. <laughs> aced the test. Sound good to me. I don't did put my you have something you was about to share? I was, I was just trying to think of something that's embarrassing that we... Uh, All right. Uh, Fresh Prince, they put out a new trailer for the new what? season. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, I started the original Fresh Prince from, from episode one. Kind of makes you look at the new one a little different, too. It's like, oh, they, this... Storyline was there was a lot of shit that was happening that was like oh this was super serious but it was super serious then too. No, it was more silly. I think uh, yeah, it was silly too, but there was they were doing both. I think TV's progressed 
For sure. The more shit you could share now, like some of that shit back in the day you couldn't really touch on politically, now they can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, mental health wasn't really discussed on TV that, as much 20 some years trauma, ago. Yeah, right. traumas mm-hmm. and certain topics weren't really um, uh, embraced. They, need, they needed TV to be like happy. Sexuality, oh. shit like that. You know what I mean? True. Like some, yeah. some of those things weren't really um, embraced back then on TV. And I think now... They are The times have changed True. Even even um, I think uh, One of the point, poignant things That they show On the new Fresh Prince Is how him and Carlton Got mad tension mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Carlton is the The wealthy Up to do Black kid Versus the newcomer Coming in Coming from the bottom A little cooler And how they are uh, 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 At odds I think that's dope That the other show Didn't really show Well they did But they made it more lighthearted than Yeah, yeah Definitely mm-hmm. doing, Definitely yeah. Even call them fuck with Adderall. Yeah. They would have never showed that back then. Now to that, that degree. And, and now there's an Adderall and shortage. It, and it's super relatable today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think. So they've managed to touch on topics that. Hillary's even sexuality. Hillary. Yeah. 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 And how that's prevalent in online businesses. Gr- yep. mm-hmm. And she succumbed to the pressure. Even though she was rich and didn't need it, she still succumbed to the pressure mm-hmm. of that. I think that's dope. Also, as if my life could not get any greater. Yesterday, I discovered the Chippendales miniseries. Sorry, I thought you talked about this already. I did, but I mean, I didn't know it was out. They made made some money off that. And it's episodic. Boy, do I hate episodic. I didn't know. They showed me all four episodes in my little thingamajiggy, in my queue. I watched two, and as soon as they was about to spice up, Uh, next week. Dog. I don't mind that though, actually. Oh, fuck the fuck, girl. Yeah, I hate girl, that. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't mind that. I've, I've gotten spoiled. I hate that. Nah, I like it. Let me watch as many as I want right now. Yo, the <clears> Chippendale <throat> story is such a great story. All these little docs about the businesses that came up, and the Chippendale story is great. I'm glad it got a miniseries. They made some money. And they pushing it. They had to make some money off the doc that you bought in last year. For them to now. Expound on that shit and, mm. and resell it and package it back up. Mm. They made some bread. I want to know. I don't know that because I don't know how they pay out with these things. All of the people that was important in the story died. So who owns the rights? Oh no, they still made some money. Just don't mean niggas got paid. Yeah, that's what we talk, I ain't oh, talking about. Made, oh, oh yeah, the people oh, made some money. Gener- Someone made some money. Someone made some spanky. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, Fuck. it generated some money. Anyway, yeah. niggas try to put out a Mike Tyson doc. Anyways, really, really good. You know, they got the fake Paul Bryan, I think is his name, right? Paul Ryan. I don't remember. It's Paul yeah. Bryan. Yeah, it was Paul Bryan. is the Hollywood fake guy that married the supermodel that was hanging around, hanging out with mm-hmm. Hugh Hefner. Then he was jealous, and he killed her. And he had 10% stake in Chippendale. Then they brought in Nick DeMoa, or whatever his name was. It was great. What a great story. What a great story. Rest in peace to the people. That but the new, the new series is like a reenactment? Yeah, they just tell the story. It's oh, four, like, four episodes. With actors and shit, though, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. With actors. But they hitting this shit. They hitting it. Mm. Okay. Them first two episodes, they are hitting it. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. I didn't see the doc yet. I need some new shit to watch. Y'all don't listen to me. I came here and I'm not and went on rave like, reviews about the Chippendale story. Certain shit is hard for me to watch. Yeah, yeah. Certain docs is just they be a little dry. I need shit to watch. The reenactment might be a little more interesting yeah, than yeah, the yeah. Uh, doc for non I can do doc the guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I, I, no? Shit don't talk about no uh, spanky. Hmm? Ish, can you speak in English to me during our, <laughs> during our broadcast? What are you, what are you trying shit to say Shit is not talking me? about some money. I don't want to see about people getting murdered over Why is it not talking about jealousy money? That is money. That Why is shit? it not talking about money, Ish? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So jealousy and killing people and all of that over your... I'm good. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking like about Like a lot of the, the docs that we champion be about the- how niggas did shiesty shit and kill people or... Dead bodies turning up. Well, what Joe kind of told us about the Chippendales doc, though, was <laughs> like the nigga finessed owning everything from this person and somebody like, got It's killed. literally like, about it's, a business. It's business. Yeah. That's and business. the rise and fall of a business and all the things that happen. It's literally all about that. Hmm. The shit literally starts with the owner of Chippendales who worked at a gas station, his boss, he killing shit at the gas station. So his boss like, yo, come over. I want to talk to you at the house. Invite him over to this big meal at this uh, lavish mansion. He says, yo, I want to give you a raise. You're killing this shit. I want to give you six more gas stations. And you be the general boss of all the gas stations. And the dude, just like you, said, 
Oh, no. He said, uh, they was talking. He said, well, I managed to save up 40 grand. And the dude said, well, how the hell did you do that? And he got on his ish shit. He said, well, you pay me $2.67. I've been working here for five years. I've worked this amount of hours. I put in this amount of work. And that allowed me to bring home $55,000, of which I've saved 90%. So I have this amount of money left. The guy's like, you saved 90%? How do you even do that? And then they get into I don't I don't want I don't want to do gas stations. I want to take my money, start a different business. So he goes, he buys a spot, and he opens it as a, a gambling spot. Back, mm. uh, I'm saying back, back gaming. Mm. Okay, back gaming, mm -hmm. huge fail. And then Paul Ryan comes in. Just watch it. It's it's a watch. It's good. Well, not you ish because murder, murder, murder. <laughs> and dude stripping at some point. So. <laughs> Um, I told y'all before about the movie. It was called uh, Searching. If y'all had a business built on male on male stripping and dancing, would you be finding that? Yes, motherfucker, right? Got it. Yeah, nigga. All right, what? making some money. Are you saying I ain't doing it? Um, no, I was saying I I had told y'all before about a movie. It was called Searching. What if you had um, to review your employees? They had to go recruit them. They had to go find this business didn't exist yet. Well, over there. True. So they had to go find bodybuilders and ask them, hey, if you want to come down. It was work. They put in work. Boy, that shit work. It's, it's great to see. Anyway, uh, searching, searching, yes. searching, searching. Um, it was, it was a, the movie was shot from screens. I've never seen kind of a movie like this. It was something really, really, really different, but it involved a kidnapping, et cetera. And it played out from, from screens and cameras, like phone screen, laptop uh, screens, security okay. cameras, shit like that. So now they've announced from them same creators, they're putting out a movie, I believe it's in January, it's called Missing. Okay. Um, the girl's mom goes on goes on a, a trip to, I think, Mexico or somewhere with, with her fiance or boyfriend or something. Mm -hmm. He comes home, drops her bags off, and they don't hear from the mother no more. So she's backtracking, and it's, it's shot kind of the same way, mm -hmm. screens and shit, but this shit looks amazing and I, if people haven't seen Searching, I highly suggest you go check that one out. Just because, not an ad enough, but it's just a really good movie. Okay. Like, it's, it's just something totally different. And I'm super excited to catch uh, Missing when it come out next year. So I think y'all will like that. Yeah, I've never seen it. The shit it that it's and in. Where's that at? Oh, it's coming out in theaters. Oh, no, but where's Searching at? Uh, ser searching is... Uh, I don't even know which. Now we got to search for it. Got it. <laughs> you got to search for searching. Okay. Okay. But now nah, that sounds dope as far as the center, cinematography. Yeah. Where it's all. It, it's an that's, interesting that's concept dope. for that's sure. All right, man. We are gone. Off to enjoy the weekend. Y'all be safe out there. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we gone, man. I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriba Dirty. Hasta la vista. Uh, au revoir. Au revoir. So long, goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Also, when you catch one like this, important to be home so you can enjoy it properly. Do remember the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a ibuprofen, or have you say that shit. Tylenol, Advil, whatever. Y'all are down. I'm gone. 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 I